Why is my headset so so loud? All right, <clears throat> corpse party. We're back. More corpse party. I just realized I made a huge mistake. I just sat down, got in my positioning, and I realized that I did not go get a cup of water. That is a that is a bad thing to do on my part. Holy shit. Oh my god. Ah, damn it. <laughs> so, guess gonna do this without water for a while. Unless I have to go do a bathroom break or something. Then I'll grab some, but... Um, let's see. We did not unlock the extra last time. We, um... Shit, I'm trying to remember. It's only been like two nights. Was it two nights? What? Was Corpse Party the last thing I did? Or was it Phoenix Wright? It was Corpse Party. It was Corpse Party. Okay. Um. Shit. So, what happened last on Corpse Party? We found out. Well, I'm trying to remember what happened last. We found out that our vengeful spirits are two sides of the same coin. Their emotions go haywire, it seems. And then they fucking... They do the murderous shit. They can't control themselves, apparently. And then... We, we found out that... Apparently, the teacher who lost his mind, well, not lost his mind, who uh, gave in to illness and sickness, I guess, is not the murderer. Instead, it is the, it's the little girl in the red dress, apparently. What else did we, um, what else did we uncover? Uh, two of our friends managed to escape said nightmare of horror. And... We still don't know much about those two little murderers we're running around with. And Yuka still hanging out with what's-his-face. And that was the end of chapter four. So, it's time for us to hopefully, hopefully, wow, hopefully finish the story tonight uh, with chapter five. Chapter four itself ran the whole course of the stream last time, so... Let's pray. Let's hope and pray that we, uh, we manage to do this shit. Alright. I am not ready for this stream. The fact that I don't have a cup of water with me is scaring me. Okay. You. You're really shaking. What's the matter? Was that you? Stay silent. Ooh. You know what? Damn. Right off the bat. Right off the bat. So far, it seems that our choices really haven't mattered that much more than our actions. But I'm still scared of these choices. Uh, I can ask him. Let him know. Or I can stay silent. And he might, he might, he might, uh, he might feel the fear resonating off of me. I'll, I'll ask. Um, that scream just now. Well, did something happen? A scream? For me? I don't recall making any sound at all. Come now, stand up. I just, oh my god, look how evil he is in his portrait. Jesus Christ. Come now, stand up. If you just sit here cowering, we'll never find my little sister, nor your big brother. But you don't have a little sister. <laughs> You liar! My stomach. Hmm? It's really that bad, Yuka? Interesting. Interesting. So this is what it looks like when someone holds it in into the point of birth. Wow. Okay. This guy. This guy. I wonder I wonder what sort of face she'll make if I force her to go right here. Wait. Pitiful? Did I just say pitiful? What the hell? So, how about it? Will you leave with me? What? What? what, what? I think I'll be okay on my own. I'll look for my big brother by myself. What are you saying, Yuka? 
I'm your big brother. Oh. Oh no. You're my little sister. And that's when you just get the fuck out of there. <laughs> and there's simply no way out of here. Everyone's going to die. So let's continue to be brother and sister until our dying breaths. For however long we may have. Goodbye. <laughs> she said, I'm out of here. Yuka, I wouldn't recommend going that way. Something dreadful happened downstairs just a moment ago. Huh? The hell you mean something happened? Now we're in perfect control. So she still hasn't gone to the bathroom, apparently? Huh. We still gotta piss in that bucket. <laughs> A whole chapter went by last time with with zero with zero indentation that we would go and piss in that oh. Oh yeah, that's that that's that dead guy. <laughs> that guy is that guy is not looking too good. Are you alright? Oh he's still alive! Who are you? My name is Mochita. Your stomach is bleeding really bad. I'm trying to find... <laughs> I'll try to find you something to stop it. God. My handkerchief won't help for a wound that big. Come on, you could think. This guy's dead, man. Just leave him. <laughs> ah, you. You need to get away from here right now. But if I don't do something about your injuries, you're gonna die. I'll just apply pressure, okay? Stay with me. I don't think applying pressure will help his, like, 300 broken ribs that he has right now. What on earth could have done this to you? Oh! <laughs> That's not for listening to your big brother, Yuka. What? She's going into con uh, convulsions. What? Wait, what happened? Did, she, did he kick her in the head? Kazami, stop this! Oh, wait. <laughs> My bad. I just realized something, apparently. Let me fix that. My microphone. <laughs> I didn't know it was that loud. Um. There we go. That's better. And this might have to be lowered a bit. Because this game is super fucking loud. Okay, there we go. Kasami, I'm sorry. Pardon? I should have done more to stop you when we were kids. I'm your best friend after all. But I never filled the role very well. I never did this th uh, What? I never did the things I should have. What are you going on about? Have you already deluded yourself into thinking you're my best friend? I don't recall you ever standing up for me. Not even one time. Hey. I... I guess I really haven't been a very good friend. Well, you won't be regretting that for long. But I must say... I'm rather curious about these things you should have done as my so-called best friend. Please do enlighten me. Oh, I don't know. Maybe something like this? I really hurt. Damn. Stop blaming other people for everything, you fucking coward. <laughs> oh, God. Even in death, this man is kicking your ass. You son of a bitch. Take a good look around you, Kazami. Take a good look at who you're going up against. No one is conspiring against you. We're no threat. We're your friends. That's bullshit. And you know it. You're the fucking coward. <laughs> Jesus. He just slit his throat? Oh, God. How you doing, Yuka? My stomach... ...really hurts. Big brother. Aw. Get back to your senses. Are you okay, Yuka? Everything's just fine now. Your big brother will protect you. Your big brother, your strong brother, will make sure to keep you safe. 
Just killed that dude in cold blood. What's this? A key? Science lab, it says. Heh. <laughs> I guess you won't be needing this anymore. Isn't it just horrible? The way these spirits kill people? You wouldn't want that to happen to you, right? Well, don't worry. I won't let them. No, I'll protect you from that horrible fate. For you see, I'll put it into it myself. I'll snuff out that tiny, tiny... This guy's crazy. <laughs> yep, that's when you just, that's when you just pack your shit and run. Like, come on, no fair running from me. Wait, what do you mean wait? Get the hell out of here. I'm not dealing with that. I'm injured. You're... You, save me. Oh, wow. Okay. Alright, ghost. I see how it is. You're an asshole. Oh, no. Ah! I'm out of here. I'm gone. What the hell is this? Motherfucker can come walking through doors like it's nothing. Upstairs? Upstairs. Time to get the hell on out of here. Oh, the candle's gone. Yuka. Yuka's not here now. Yuka's gone. I'm getting the fuck out of here. You can't stop me. I'm so gone. I'm so out of here. Wait for me. Oh, how, how'd you get here so fast? My stubby little leg can only take me so far. Uh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Do I... Is it? Is the game still running? Alright. I wanted to make sure if I had those shoes on me. Because if I did, I could run across the, the skulls and ward them off. Start waving spirit sticks. Run, rabbit, run. I'm not... Yeah. <laughs> this is... This is a this is a deaf room right here. Piano ghost, help me! There's no soul to be anywhere near. Oh, piano ghost, you're a bitch. Door's completely locked. Oh, oh no! I hope he's not right outside the door. All right, cool. Oh, there he is. <laughs> he got stuck. Look at you. You ain't tough shit now, aren't you? I'm gonna run this way. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Oh. There's a key for the front entrance. Hell yeah. I just gotta... Now... Oh, shit, yeah. Because these are locked. I just gotta kite him. Is he still stuck here? Oh, he's not even... Come on, buddy. Let's dance. Let's dance. Come here. Come here. Oh, fuck. Oh! See, you're not gonna get me. I'm fast as fuck. I'm so gone, and you can't stop me. I don't even think he's on full sprint, to be honest. What if he just said... What if he just went... That's not even my final form. And then he just started booking it. Be some scary shit. Alright. Now with the power of said key in my hand, I shall be leaving. That's my earliest convenience. Man, it, it really didn't take long for that guy to instantly flip a switch and go homicidal. It's only been like a couple of minutes that I've been hanging out with the dude. Be a good girl, you can come with me. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. That's something I, I'd rather not do. What is this that I dropped? I can't pick that up? Damn. I am so gone! Wait for me. I'm not waiting for you. The hell? I'm getting the hell out of here. Come out, come out, wherever you are. 
Do you want me to die? This way, come on. No. Goodbye. <laughs> I don't trust you. Why would I trust you? Ah. It hurts. Big brother. Oh, wow. Really? No. <laughs> Damn it. So you're telling me I should have trust the spooky ghost? I'm sorry to have startled you, Yuka. Come now, stand up, let's go. Are we going to find my big brother? Your big brother? You mean me? I'm not, you're not my brother. <laughs> it's all right, come along now. We're gonna go to the room Kurosaki, uh, Kurosaki has invited us. What? Is that an ending? What happened to Morishigi? Mayu? Mayu, where are you? Why is he bleeding? How long have I been here? It must have been the middle of the night by now. Man, am I ever thirsty. Oh, Mayu, don't you realize how very worried about you I am? How are you holding up right now? I wonder what sort of thoughts are swimming through that mind. You scare so easily, and you're such a fragile soul. You really do need me by your side. She's dead, bro. Huh? What's wrong? Not going to club today? Ah, uh, that's a good question. What is wrong? They're holding auditions for the lead, you know. Oh, I know. But there's no way they'll pick me. Come now. I mean, I've seen how much you want it. You've been poring over that script for the last month. Not to mention practicing lines in the gym equipment room. You saw that? How embarrassing. Next time, you should say something. But you were so into it. I was actually just kind of happy to see you in the element like this. Well, either way, I'm giving up on that per on the peculiar goal. I can't read. But why? After all that study and practice? Everyone knows the parts in our productions are chosen based on population. Population? Popularity. Not on acting talent. Mayu, you're an upright, idealistic individual. So you're probably going to think that I'm a bit of a spineless coward for this. But I refuse to attend an audition when I know it won't make a bit of a difference. Aww. I truly hate it. I always make an effort to attend social events and put on a pleasant front. But, well, I guess it all comes down to the fact that I'm simply not well liked. I wonder why. Maybe because you take pictures of dead bodies. But I like you. You're a good actor, Shig. You shine in the spotlight, really shine, and you look like you're enjoying it, too. But if you hate it that much, then yeah, it's really not worth it. I mean, if you have to force yourself, then you're not going to have any fun at all, right? And what's the point of that? Besides, at least I got to see it. Shake's secret, uh, I don't, I don't even know that fucking word, man. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that name. Come on, we'll head out together. Oh. But how about we how about we stop at the crepe stand on our way home? Doesn't that sound yummy? Chocolate bananas, man. They apparently have a new one on the menu, and I'm just itching to try it out. I'm well aware. If I'm not there for you, Mayu, it's plain to see how much danger you'll be in. She's dead already, bro. She's already dead. You can't you can't help her. <laughs> That's what I've been telling myself all this time anyways. But that's not the real reason I'm trying so hard to find you. No, nothing so noble. Every time I saw your face and heard you greet me with the shig bro, you always say... You were saving my life. Please, Mayu. I need you. Don't leave me all alone. Damn, just one more. I have to see the suffering of others is the only thing keeping me sane. And I'm still sane. I am. Are you? Are you sane? 
I don't think you are. God, I've taken so many of them. So many pictures of the dead. It's weird. They're all real, honest-to-goodness corpse. But to me, they look like they're fakes. Nothing but props. Realistic ones, granted. Much more detailed and lifelike than the cheap fake bodies you see on television and in the movies. Hmm. This one is this one is flashiest by far, utterly pulverizing against the wall. Oh my god, that's Mayu, you fucking freak! Absolutely breathtaking. She's been reduced to nothing more than a chaotic jumble of flesh. But not long ago, all of it was connected. This was once a human being walking and talking with a mind of her own. Should there truly be an afterlife, she must be embarrassed to show her face there, with such a hideous, defigured appearance. I probably feel bad for her. If she was a complete stranger. That's Mayu. Splattered all over the wall. What's going on? If I'm receiving calls, then why is it blasting? Wait, what? If I'm receiving a call, then why is the blasted thing still in photo view mode? There's no message telling me who's calling either. Just a ringtone. Maybe the OS is shot. Don't look. Don't look. Oh. Damn, Mayu's like, don't look, buddy, that's me. Dead on your phone. Because you're taking pictures of dead bodies. That's crazy. Please don't look at me. What? Please don't look at me. Stop staring at my insides. Shig, please. That's what you get for taking pictures of corpses, you fucking freak. Yeah, I'm not I'm not going to do that yelling. <laughs> I'll, I'll read it, but I'm not going to yell. <laughs> That's not happening tonight. Especially since I don't have no water to to help my throat out. Chapter 5. Oh, hey, we're back to this guy. Why he looks so fucking bored? <laughs> Why he looks so bored? He's like, eh, dead bodies. I don't care. <laughs> the girl in the red dress. Hmm. I think I may have seen her. Her ghost, anyways. When I was with Seiko in one of the dark classrooms. Is it... Does she have a new portrait? What's going on here? <laughs> She's crouched down on the ground and staring right at us. I saw her, too. In the shadows when Yuka and I were walking through the hall earlier. It's like she keeps tabs on our movements. We also found an old newspaper article in the nurse's office about the Heavenly Host kidnapping and murder case. There are photos of four victims and she was one of them. There's no doubt in my mind the ghost girl we've both seen is definitely Sachiko. But how is that possible? According to what we just saw, Sachiko wasn't killed. She survived. And if that's the case, shouldn't she have grown into a popular popular into a proper adult by now? I don't think I don't think witnessing a murder at the age of, like, nine would help you grow into a proper adult. <laughs> she had to look older than us, at the very least. Staying behind in a place like this, in child form, with the other victims? Just doesn't make a whole lot of sense, does it? Yeah, that part bothers me too. I'm guessing that shortly after the incident, uh, I, I just had a moment where I just couldn't read. <laughs> I'm guessing that shortly after the incident, through some unrelated accident, of course. Oh, well. Of something, or whatever. Can't read. Tesco lost her life as well. If we can somehow meet up with her spirit, maybe we can learn more about what happened. More than what was reported, at the very least. If it's the key to getting everybody out of here safely. I'll take my chances with the school curse, or whatever the hell it is. Once we find Nyuka, we say, uh, what say we look for Sachigo as well. Okay. Though I'm worried, I haven't heard Yuka's voice at all since before you found me. Yeah, we need to find some means of getting back to the other building. What the hell? This one feels completely different from the others. I just flubbed all those words. Oh god, it's a big one. The school can't possibly... The school can't possibly be this cute. Naomi, are you alright? Hang on to me. Okay. Don't let go. Don't let go, Jack. I won't. Damn it. 
It just keeps going. Naomi. It's a ceiling beam. He's bleeding. Satoshi? Satoshi, speak up to me. Speak up. Speak to me. Are you okay? I'm like having hiccups and everything. This is why you bring a glass of water with you before you read all this shit. No, Satoshi. Satoshi, you're dying. Please don't kill me. Don't kill me, please. Shinozaki, snap out of it. You, you doing good, Shinozaki? Shinozaki, all right? Yeah, I would, I would, I would lose my shit too if I, if I, if I had to go through that. It's okay. Everything's okay. Come on, Shinozaki. Everything's fine. You're safe. It's not okay. She just, she just witnessed death. The most horrifying death. What the? That's what happened to me. <laughs> I love how she's like having a, a huge traumatic experience. And he's like, it's okay, it's alright. Then she blows her nose on his shirt and he's like, come on. <laughs> he's like, what the hell? What was it like? What'd you see? I saw the true identity of the murderer. Huh? That's why that damn doll wasn't enough. Repentance from the killer? We had the wrong person. Wait, are you telling me you were actually there? Like you saw the scene of the murders? Saw it? I lived it! That's exactly what I'm saying. I seen everything through Yuki's eyes. I was bound, and then I was killed. God damn, you little piece of... It's not her fault. I'm the one you wanted to, who wanted to know. The murder was a little girl. You remember the newspaper article Suzumoto showed us? Her photo was in it, along with her name. It's the girl in the red dress, Hachiko Shinazaki. Ugh, damn. She was listed as one of the victims, but believe me, she's no victim. Now, I really want to know, what is her thought process here? First of all, congrats to Ayumi for collecting herself and managing to sit here and tell us this. And then, <laughs> if she's going to walk back into that haunted school with me, what is her mindset? Because it's like, man, I just, I just realized how bad that was. I wouldn't walk into that. I'd be like, fuck it, let them die. No, that can't be right. That's impossible. For a little girl to do something like that? How could she abduct other children her own age and keep them prisoner, no less? I could believe it if there were monsters with the hammer. He seems fully capable of kidnapping and tying up little kids any day of the week. He was just an accomplice. When these children were killed by Sachiko, the man with the hammer was in the corner of the room, quaking in fear. He can't be serious. I have no idea why he would have helped Sajiko in the first place, though. We have to tell the others, Mochita and Miss Shishido. Man, I forgot about the teacher. What happened to her? Apparently, like, she died, but apparently she didn't die, and then she got up, and she's like, well, time to, time to go look for, for the students. And then we didn't see anything else. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Even Naho wasn't able to find out the whole truth, and she'd been in here longer than any of us. If we don't hurry up and tell them, they'll be dead before they, they ever find out. If Sachiko catches them unaware, it could be all over. So, did I do the right thing by, uh... I'm gonna have to go back. Yuki, please. Did I do the right thing by having Yuka not follow Sachiko? Because <laughs> cause she goes, quick, over here, and I'm like, bullshit! <laughs> you try to, you try to corner me earlier! I'm not listening to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, how's it going? I'm just, you know, over here trying to survive. Take us back to the closed spaces. We'll find a way to exercise you and all the other spirits trapped in the heavenly host. I wouldn't recommend that. As a result of you of your interference, as well as the interference of your friends, those spaces are in a state of critical flux now. If I were to take you back, even if I kept this clarity of mind the whole time, I doubt I'd ever be able to bring you home again. But if we don't go back, everyone's gonna die. 
Kishinuma. Let's go, please, for our friends. How does she... How does Ayumi have the fucking... How does she have the guts? First of all, she's like the most scariest one out of all of us here. Because she just runs off on her own whenever she gets scared. But she just witnessed death <laughs> through the eyes of the ghost. She's been stabbed in the eye repeatedly. How is she all about like, man, come on, we got to go back into the school. I'll be like, fuck no, I get caught by that ghost. It's over. Come on, from Ochita. No, I'm sorry, but no, I'm not. I'm not doing that. I don't want to set one foot in that hellhole ever again. You shouldn't either. We have to be out of your. Got to be out of your fucking mind to go back there. We die for sure. Why? Why you always have to be like that? Why do I always have to be like that? Why do you gotta be like that? You're the one who ran away most of the time. I saved your ass more than once. That's what I hate about you. You don't give a shit about anyone's feelings but your own. How dare you? How dare you? I saved you multiple times. How many times were you possessed, Ayumi? How many? Like five and counting? <laughs> and you're stubborn once you set your mind to something. Are you honestly saying you're fine as long as you get uh, through this alive? Oh, don't you dare try to patronize me. We'll die, and I don't want to die. That's clear enough for you? Fine, do whatever the hell you want. It was stupid of me to even bother asking you. I'll go by myself. Can't believe you. Do you really not care about rescuing your friends? I care about not dying. <laughs> I, I rescued your ass too many times to go back in. <laughs> you don't care about anyone either. The only person you care about is Satoshi. You can drop the act. It's got pretty fucking old. Always, uh, always Moshita this and Moshita that. Well, I hope you two are happy together, eternal damnation. But before you go, at least try to read the writing on the fucking wall. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm telling you, I love you, goddammit! Oh, really? <laughs> you're so oblivious. You've been watching Satoshi so closely, you never even noticed how much I care about you. I mean, this has been a weird situation and all, but we have gotten separated from him, and you and I wound up alone together. I have to admit, it made me kind of happy. I thought maybe it would be a good chance to catch your eye and draw it away from his. But the whole time, all you care about was him. You probably keep wishing it was Satoshi by your side instead of me. Well, Satoshi's not here. I am. So look at me. <laughs> from the bottom of my heart. Stop it. Just stop it, please. How could you think of uh, how could you think any of that is true? But she's just not the only one I worry about. Remember just a few short hours ago when everyone's cleaning up after the culture festival and complaining about it the whole time? Isn't that a precious memory to you? No, not really. I just remember cleaning a fucking dirty room. <laughs> I want us to have experiences like that again. There's still so much I want to share with you all. That's why I'm going back. Because if I don't, we can never be together again. And thought of that as ab absolutely mortifies me. That mortifies you more than being stabbed in the eye repeatedly? Really? I mean, listen, I'm all about friendship and stuff, but hell no. So please, Yuki, take me back. I don't care if I have to go alone. Just hurry before it's too late. You're certain? Yes, please. As you wish. Just for the record, Kishinima. I'm absolutely terrified of this, but I'm still doing it. God damn it, do whatever the hell you want. I'm going home. That's a smart boy. <laughs> he said, fuck this, I'm out. He's like, it ain't worth it. Plenty fish in the sea. I don't care. <laughs> Emily Hose. I really did go back. Damn. Ah, shit. Here we go again. Alright. Entry to the Empire of Japanese Secret Intelligence Base is strictly forbid. What? What? We have a secret base here in the school? That's crazy. I'm still wondering where the hell... Honestly, I'm still wondering why we haven't pissed in that bucket yet. That never came around full circle. Big brother. Now then, Yuka. I'm going to kill you. Like it or not, it's gonna happen. Is she really... What? 
Quite an unexpected change from the doldrums of junior high, no? The realization that your existence will soon come to an end. Can you believe it? When you woke up this morning, did you say to yourself, I'm gonna die today? People who die in traffic accidents don't even know what's coming. They wake up, get out of bed, wash their faces. And all the while, the thought of that's going the thought that they're gonna die that day never even enters their mind. Well, take heart. The situation isn't all that different when you think about it. Death is not an unexpected occurrence. It's not a random chance. Death is always lurking in the shadows every minute of every day. It's because people forget that. Death takes them by surprise. It's the very high height of folly. What? However, therein lies the appeal. Oh, you see, Yuka, I witnessed a great many of life. I've touched them, felt them. The final moments of life from a wide variety of living beings. And every one of them always struggling to live till the bitter end, never giving up the fight. But I've watched those final sparks of life burn down to nothing. I've seen them go out. And it's, wait, and it's in that last desperate movement that the fire of one's life shines most beautifully. Humans, you see, have brains that allow them to consider various possibilities and communication. Wait, and communicate those possibilities with other humans. But they rarely ever use their brains to truly explore the concepts of life and death. They forego rem uh, ruminating. What? Am I saying that right? Yeah, ruminating on the meaning of life and the laws of the universe. Instead, opting to use their cognitive uh, cognitive abilities for pointless waste of time. They stop focusing their energy on giving some semblance of purpose to their pitiful existence, and simply indulge themselves in earthly pleasures. Some are even foolish enough to kill themselves. It's like everyone in this world is a, is a can't even fucking read. Is a gib gib gibbering? What? <laughs> Whatever, man. They're fucking idiots. But you see, I'm fascinated by it. When a person becomes aware of his or her own independent demise, or better yet, it's in the process of dying. What sort of fireworks will that last spark of life become? Quite simply, the answer to that is what I crave. Kurosaki's death was absolutely extinguished. Wait, extinguish? Exquisite, my bad. I believe he may have, I believe he even have understood me. In the end, he must have. To have shown me such a breathtaking display. <laughs> Yuka, you're my little sister. You wouldn't be so un unsisterly as to feign no reaction, I trust. After what I'm about to do to you, you will show me the, the dance of death I so desire, will you not? If it's agonizing, you're welcome to scream bloody murder. No need to hold back on my account. <laughs> That's it. That's perfect. Give me more. <laughs> Damn. My man's... He's gone full-on crazy. Well, he hasn't gone full-on crazy. He is. Am I being timed here? Oh, man. Please don't tell me I'm being timed. I mean, if I was being timed, they'd give me a timer. That's, uh... <laughs> he's evil? Oh, man. What do you mean he's evil? At the end of the third chapter, my man gets up and just stabs a dude. <laughs> this guy's super evil. <laughs> you missed that. Missed a lot. <laughs> what? Why is she... Oh, okay. She just stopped moving. I'm scared. I'm scared. See, 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 there you go. You was rooting for him. I stopped rooting for him the moment, the moment his friend walked in the door and he said, Hey man, how's it going? <laughs> and he said, huh? What if I just take this knife? Why'd I come back? Why did Kishinoma let me come back by myself? He should have come with me. What the hell is wrong with them? I don't see nothing wrong with him. He said, I'm not dying. That's crazy. If I die here for nothing, without ever seeing any of my friends again. What's this? 
Closet trespassers will be expelled. Don't go in the closet. Closet bed. Hmm? What's that? Oh my god. It's a student ID from Kizaragi Academy. So what we know must be nearby. I wonder whose it is. Ah, it's, Nishi. it's a Nakashima. Not Nakashima. Bleh. Can't read. <laughs> no mistaking it. It's even still got a scrape of paper from the Sashiko charm. Ah, must be really close. Nakashima, where are you? If you're here, please answer me. I shall look for her. She can't be far. Naomi student ID. Okay. Good, good. Keep on shining for me. You're beautiful. You're stunning. Try this, Yuka. Think about your favorite food and your favorite drink. Your favorite book and TV shows. How does it make you feel? How does it feel to know that you'll never experience any of them ever again? Once you die, that's it. Everything stops. Everything ends. These are your final moments. Death is upon you. <laughs> You're gonna die. I don't wanna die. Dying's bad. <laughs> Shall we begin? It's showtime. Oh, here he comes. Oh. Are you here to save me? Oh. I thought he was wearing a mask. He's just possessed. Thanks. Oh. Yeah, that's why I didn't trust her. She said, she said, come into this room. I'll help you. Fuck no. <laughs> How dare you. I'm guessing he pushed me down the hole. Yuka? Guess that was just a dream. Oh, my head is throbbing. It's pitch black, too. What happened? I remember there was a big earthquake. What's this? Something in my hand. It's really tender, like some kind of meat. What the hell am I? What the hell am I? What do you mean? Is Naomi dead? Oh, you just groping her. That that's just what's going on. Huh? Oh. I, uh. Satoshi? Naomi, I'm sorry. Please don't misunderstand. I didn't mean it. Satoshi, is your head okay? Uh a beam fell on your head during the quake, and it started bleeding. Your face is really red. I guess it must have hurt. Thanks for shielding me. But, uh, think nothing of it. I already, I already received my thanks. <laughs> he just, he just said, he said, in my unconsciousness, I'll just grab a quick, you know, just a quick little touch. <laughs> and I'm fine. I'm not bleeding anymore, at least. You're not. Huh. Wow, this is incredible. What is this place? Where are we? Deeth Brent, uh, Tachigi. Stay. I don't even know. I don't even know that if that's how you, how I say the name. Stay calm. Keep a steady hand and don't stop filming. I want every last detail captured on video. Don't miss every. Don't miss even a single speck on the wall. Yes, sir. Look at that chat-ass motherfucker. <laughs> Amazing. I can't believe it worked. This is sure to get me the recognition I deserve. With this footage, with this film, the occult genre will be completely reborn. Alright, let's get started. I think it's about time I began pinning our th what? Pinning our third strange but true article. Experiencing this place in the flesh should prove a sufficient enough muse to get the words flowing, okay? They're in this building? Hmm. This is that tape you put in earlier, right? Yeah, the camera didn't seem to work before, though. No power, no batteries. Looks like research footage taken by whoever it was that brought it here. Man, this place is unbelievable. 
Everywhere you look, there's something written down. I don't want to die. Whoa. Oh, man, that's some crazy shit. <laughs> Just be careful. We don't have a lot of data on this place yet. We have no idea what might happen here. It's best not to touch anything. Eh? You know, fun. With such delicious, what, deliciously dark scenery all around us, I have to at least take in the surroundings, you know? I suppose you do. Damn straight. This is unreal. You think it was the right thing to do, though? Coming here without the girl now? Nah, she ain't, she ain't gonna be too pleased. She'll be all like, Why'd you guys always do the fun stuff without me? Uh, that sounds about right. But this is different from our previous excursions. I can't justify putting her in this kind of danger. Eh, true. But she's not just gonna see it that way. Is that the real deal? It looks that way. A dead body? Whoa! An actual dead body! This is bad. Really, really bad. We gotta get the hell out of here. Look at her uniform. It's from our era. It's new. I'm sure this place accounts a whole bunch of missing children reports. And there, <laughs> and here they are, just rotting away. What kind of hell we stumbled upon? You're right. We are in danger. You say you know. You say you know a way out, right? A way out. Ah, oh, yes, the way out. I forgot. I never did go over that with you. What's wrong? I heard a voice. A child's voice. Children's voices? Seriously? Listen. Listen. Can you hear them? Where the hell are they coming from? Calm down. I'm listening. But I don't hear anything. How many voices are there? Are there boys? Girls? Uh... Mr. Kibiki? Mr. Kibiki? Uh... Was there something there? Right there? Just a few seconds ago? Where? There, right over there! <laughs> hey you, wait, stop! Oh, and then he died? Hold up! <laughs> the man's dying, he's dead. He got Blair Witched. The cameraman goes first. Are you alright? Oh, I'm really sorry, I stepped on something. And the camera, is it alright? Seem to be... What? Huh? What? That's not the real dude, is it? That's a fake. Where are you going? Damn it, the tape's almost full. Where'd he put out blinks? I have no idea what just happened. Guess that's the end. Yeah, I guess that's the end too. Shit. I wonder what this way out might have been. Just what it sounds like, I imagine. Unfortunately, the recording was a bit lacking in details. The reporter was looking for blank tapes, though. So there's probably a follow-up. After we rejoin with Yuka, let's make finding that our priority. Yeah, sounds like a plan to me. Alright, for now, let's just see about getting, getting to the second building. I guess we leave the camera. It's pretty much stuck on the TV. Not exactly ideal, since it means we'll have to come back here to watch the next tape. Well, I mean, what do you expect? <laughs> huh? Hmm. Well, that's not good. What's going on? The school's completely changed. Guess that wasn't just an earthquake after all. Yeah, it's like we're feeling... It's like... Uh, well, it's like we were feeling the building expanding and contracting around us again. Either way, we need to get moving. Oh, wait. Hold a second. Hmm? You got splinters all over your back. Time to go find my friends and give her back. Oh, is that... Hey, it's Machida! I guess the closed space really has started to break down. Machida! I'm over here! Shinozaki, you alright? What are you doing? I, um... Class rep, I'm glad you're okay. Thanks, same to you. No, God, poor Suzumoto. God damn it. 
She was just with us a few hours ago. Smiling and laughing? Why? Why is this happening to us? At any rate, let's make sure we don't lose anyone else. In fact, consider it an order from your class rep. Shinozaki, we're gonna find Miss Shishido, Morshigi, and Yuka. And get the hell out of here together. Yeah, you bet we are. Remember, the murderer is Sachiko. If you run into her, be very careful, and don't listen to anything she says. Based on what we've told by, by, uh, based on what we've been told by Naho and Yuki, if we can get Sachiko to express remorse for her actions, then the three victims she'll, uh, she killed will be appeased. The field around the school building will be lifted, and we should theoretically be able to get out of here and go home. Sachiko, the girl in the red dress. How do we get her to express remorse, though? That's it. That is a question. Yeah, it is a question. Well, what about you two? What can you tell me about this way out you mentioned? Not a lot, unfortunately. The reporter talks about some specific means of getting home. But he was cut off before he could explain it. He was looking for a blank tape, though. When it ended... When it ended... Uh, wait, what? <laughs> he was looking for a blank tape, though, when it ended. So there's probably a continuation somewhere. Look for a label that says Kibiki Research Data. Wait, did you say Kibiki? Yes, that's right. If we can figure out what sort of method he had in his mind for getting out of here, we won't have to get mixed up with the ghosts and curses anymore. It seems like it'd be a lot simpler than, how do you put it, appeasing the spirits? The problem with that is, it doesn't really fix anything. Escaping but putting the spirits to rest, that's the method Naho explained to me, and I don't think it's the same thing as Kibiki's way out. I'm guessing Naho wanted us to put a stop to this once and for all, to keep the curse from spreading any further. If we leave things to the way they are, and just escape with our lives like you suggested, then countless innocent children are going to get pulled in here for god knows how many years to come, and they're all going to die horribly. That may be true, but we're just high schooler students, and man, I don't give a fuck about them. I'm trying to keep me alive. How, come you possibly, how can you possibly expect us to set things right? There has to be a way to make Sachiko atone for her sins. There just has to be. And we're gonna go look for it. God, how can you just de how can you just decide right off the bat that the that this plan has no change of no change no chance of succeeding? Is it because I'm the one who just suggested it? Why am I stuttering? I know exactly why I'm stuttering. I don't have a fucking cup of water with me. Wait, no, of course not. Come on, we have to work together on this. How about the two of us look for more info on Kibiki's way out? And continue searching for Yuka, of course, while searching for Miss Yui. Once everyone's been found, we'll meet back here. Got it. Class rep, take care, okay? Did she give her her fucking, her, her paper charm? Don't get too close to Moshida. Really, we're doing this now? Huh? Do I still have her paper charm? What the hell? Damn it. Why am I so stupid? I'm sure even Machida was freaked out by that last comment. But god damn it, how was I supposed to react? What am I doing anyways? I didn't even give Nishikama back uh am I I'm not even saying her name right. <laughs> uh fucking Nakashima Nakashima? Fuck, I damn it. <laughs> I'm a crap- I'm a crappy class rep. Guess I can just give them back to her later. That's not- that's not ideal. You should give it back to her now. <laughs> but really, she's right. Even if we did track down Sajko, I don't have the slightest idea how we can possibly elect- elect? I'm having a hard time here. <laughs> elect any remorse from her. I guess I'll just try and find Miss Yui. And then even if we can use that way out. Let's just get the hell out of here. We're now following multiple parties. You may only directly control one party at a time, however. If you wish to switch from one party to the other, you may do so with by, by stepping in one of the many pentagrams scattered throughout the school building. Oh yes, through the power of the devil, we can fucking change our parties. Great. Oh, I'm guessing this is the pentagram.
The most weirdest pentagram I've ever seen in my life. Trust me, I've seen a many. We wandered the halls for a while, searching for any sign of Yuka. In doing so, we found the path leading to the second building had finally opened itself back up. You are kidding. A whole other wing. It's kind of terrifying. Will you be alright in there, Naomi? I mean, I'm scared, but still. I'll be okay. I'm sure everything's gonna be fine. As long as the two of us stick together, we'll manage. Yeah, we will. As long as the two of us stick together, huh? There's that tinge of regret again, boring into my heart like a drill. You don't care about anyone's feelings but your own. Seiko's last words still echo in my ears, as if I only just heard them spoken. Naomi, it's alright. It's not your fault. Satoshi did everything he could to make me feel better. But it's obvious what happened. Her shoes were so neatly lined up in front of the stall. She knew what she was doing. It was clearly suicide. And I drove her to it. My angry outburst resulted in my best friend killing herself. What else could have been? Wherever she is right now, Seiko is furious with me. She has to be. I highly doubt she killed herself. Don't worry, we'll find you, Yuka. I know we will. She's in the other building. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna save this right here. And I am going to be right back because my... I'm not sure if you can hear it, but my dog is right behind me and she is, like, crying her heart out. <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming she has to go outside because I did just feed them. So, I'm gonna go do that. While I'm doing that, I'll grab a glass of water so I can not kill myself while reading all this. And then we will continue with more course party. So I'll be back in like three minutes ish. Something like that.
make sure make sure everything's running like it's supposed to fight with my microphone for a second all right hopefully everything's back to the way it should be why is this it's so loud to me how's the audio on this by the way because the game is loud in my headphones and for some reason there's no way for me to change that actually no let me see maybe I can change it Maybe I can change it for me if I just do this if I do a little bit of that oh that was loud yikes do a little bit of that maybe that maybe that helps well, that helps me hopefully it's not hopefully the audio is not too bad I went and got some water let my dogs out my other dog is currently scratching at his at his fucking his bedding making a lot of noise and now with the power of water as Captain America would say hail hydration I remember when people got mad when Captain America went hail hydra that was crazy what what is it Oh my god. This is unconcernable. Unconcernable. What? Un uncon is that the word? Why do I feel like that's not the word? There are stab wounds. Whoever did this clearly enjoyed it. He looks like he looks like he was just killed. Like just killed. Yeah, that's a fresh body. Uh, Satoshi, look. What's that? Is that You could shoe. Oh, that's a shoe? That's what she dropped? Okay. Satoshi. There's no mistake. I see these every morning. This is Yuka's shoe. My god. What the hell? What the hell happened here, goddammit? And then we just morph into one being. Can I check this fucking bathroom? I don't think I ever checked it. Towards the fix of the wall like a model can't be open. Oh wait, no, this is a different room because apparently apparently even though we went to the bathroom even though she went to the bathroom she still couldn't go there's another body at the top of the stairs what the hell is up with this building everywhere you look there's nothing but death wait what's this it's more Shigi's cell phone video saved to memory what do you record oh wait no Oh, hey, he just, he's just crying to himself. Huh. Oh, yeah. He found out that the, he found out that the pictures he was taking was of Mayu's dead body plastered all over the wall. That guy's a fucking freak. God, please, no more of this. So we're just gonna leave it? Shouldn't we take it? Blood splattered. Oh, yeah, I'm taking it. <laughs> I love how she just said, let's leave it. And I was like, well, no, let's, let's take it. Let's save again, why not? Double up on the saves. Make you feel good. I'm done looking at corpses, man. I'm not looking at them no more. I refuse. Now this is the room. Can we not? Okay. This is fucking soundtrack going crazy. I mean shit's getting serious. <laughs> my finger just slipped on my damn keyboard. God damn it. Alright. Ooh, this was not here before. What the hell? My friends were killed in this hallway. These green skulls are lethal. I sealed them up to ensure no one else dies. Pointless death here. Oh, so you just sealed them up to be like, hey. Don't go that way. That's a bad way. Piano ghost. Oh, you're... Huh. Oh, wait, no. That's the art room. Piano Ghost is downstairs, right? Never, never got a, never got to find out what that Piano Ghost was about. Or what the girl muttering in the corner to herself was about. She kind of just stood there and then died, I guess. Disappeared, evaporated back into the ether. Piano Ghost? Hello? You still, you still playing this shit? Was this here before? Oh no, this fell off the wall earlier. 
Portrait has fallen. There's broken glass everywhere. Oh, no. Don't touch the broken glass. That's terrible. You get cuts and shit. Nobody wants that. Alright. So where would I pop... This is a new one, isn't it? Skeletal remains swelled across the floor. Yeah, that is a new one. Although I said I'm gonna stop looking at corpses and I instantly went, ooh, look, dead body. These doors are kind of useless. They don't open anything. They're just there for decoration. Let's see. I can't even interact with that. But there's a nice little key thing over there. That wasn't... I don't think that was there before. Was that? Did I just blatantly miss that? I think I just didn't see it before. Alright. So right now, what we have... Kishinuma, Kishinuma went home, got himself some dinner, sat down and said, Man, I had a rough day. He's not coming back. I hope... <laughs> he probably will come back somehow, but... I hope he doesn't come back. Not because I don't like him, because I just want I want him to be the smart one. They're like, bro, you left us to die in a school. He's like, I didn't leave you to die. I left to save myself. Believe the girl. Believe what girl? You mean Sachiko? She tried to kill me. Two times already. Due to reputation earned. Okay, yeah, we read this already. I remember that one. Um, let me see. Run up here. Still gotta get used to these controls. What is all the way upstairs? Oh, it's the principal's office. That's what it is. Alright. Skeletal remains. Cool. That looks like a fresh body. I don't think that was there before. Did this change? Boys Laboratory, any students responsible for damaging these facilities will be severely reprimanded. That guy... I gotta, I gotta go back and look at him. Is that just his gut? Like, did he carve out his guts? Is that what just happened? Alright, so what the hell is this? Mini DV tape 2. Oh, that's cool. The darken has already... The darkening has already become... What? Huh. I don't like the sound of that. That sounds terrible. back to the other school. And the soundtrack gets more creepy. It, was this here before? It was, right? Am I crazy? Is this where we came from? I think this is where we came from. No. What the hell is this? Huh? So, the, okay, this is where... All right. So this just wasn't here before, but it is where we were, where we were at. You know what I want to do, actually? Music is pretty groovy. I know, right? I actually want to switch back to Ayumi, because I want to, I have a feeling that we'll probably run into Yuka as her. What the hell is this? Strange but true, stories of the Akon chasing down the hidden past of this cursed school building. Part 3. Oh god, this is going to be... Time to drink my water. It's gonna be a long piece of text. All right. Things have taken a truly frightful turn, dear readers. I stand now at the brink of my at the brink of a new age for the occult world. Nothing will ever be the same again. I wonder if it will happen. Well, wow. I'm already fucking it up. I wonder if it will even be possible to convey in words the significance of where I'm standing at this very moment. Prepare yourselves for a report unlike any other, for I am presently within the accursed school building inside Heavenly Host Elementary. And it's all thanks to the highly skilled patronage... Patronage? Uh, prodigy. My bad. Prodigy. Naho... Sh I don't, I'm not even... Whatever. Naho. Many of us know... Um, wow. Many of you may know the name. She has the ability to commune with spirits, and she... And it's uh, through these connections that... That a way was been divine... Oh, God. I just... Tonight's not the night, you know what I mean? There are some nights where I can just read and like not stop. Tonight is one of those nights where I just can't, I can't do any of it. A means of accessing this accursed ground together 
with my faithful cameraman. I have made use of this method to see these cursed halls with my own eyes. I have set foot into a school building that should no longer exist, a forbidden land of the dead. In addition to this article, I will also, uh, my cameraman and I will be capturing ample video footage. We have no clear plan of attack, so we'll simply explore in records. We will become, wow. What will become of us in these dilapidated halls? What secrets will we uncover? Will we be able to learn the truth of what happened here? It may seem odd in such mac... I'm having like a hiccup right now. <laughs> what the hell? God, this is what happens when you make the quiet guy talk a lot. It may seem odd in such macabre sound... Macabre? Macabre? Mm. It's just macabre, right? That's just how you say the word, right? There's no, there's no way, you don't pronounce the R-E at the end, I believe, right? <laughs> Such macabre surroundings. But I can't help feeling excited about what awaits us. Surely, dear readers, you can wait. I sincerely hope <laughs> you're doing fine. I'm not doing fine, I'm doing terrible. At least I'm doing better than, like, the one kid in class when the teacher goes like, Alright, can we get one of the kids who don't read to read? And then they're just super slow. They're like, Sin sincere, I hope, sincere, oh. Huh? <laughs> I sincerely hope you'll you'll be anticipating my next installment with bated breath. For now, however, I must put down my pen. There is work to be done. I must gather evidence for this remarkable excursion. For soon, I shall be regarded as a living witness to the dead. Used to pronounce the the R E and yeah, exactly. That's what I was about to be. I was about to say macabre. <laughs> That's not how you say the word. I'm like it's spelled stupidly. English sucks. I hate English. It's the worst language ever. Now host mentor, the occult writer, Ko Kibiki, investigative reporter, and all right, see, I don't even what. That's just a typo. That's just a typo. That's not even a word. That's a typo. <laughs> and as much as you can tell, it's just a typo. <laughs> and as much as you can call someone that at that at the spook mag, anyway, what? That at a spook mag? What the fuck? Is that a word? Is that a fucking word? I'm just... I'm confused. It looks like a typo to me. Guessing he's in here somewhere too. Probably dead. Or probably in that room covered with the seals. Don't want to speak ill of him, but he always seemed to think of Naho as cash cow. He obviously came here solely to get his hands on a big scoop. That man would walk the dead if he could write about it afterwards. This is a horror game. What the hell is with this music? <laughs> Give Key Choices a word. <laughs> Give Key Choices a word in this article suggests he came here for on his own volition. Now he made it sound the same way to her. Okay. <laughs> then that I I can't read. <laughs> and there's that first blue ghost we spoke with. He said we're all trapped here by the curse of the children. Russian club music vibes. You know that video of like the dude, I don't, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure it's not Russian, but the dude looks like he's Russian. There's a video where, uh, of report, there's just people in a club, and apparently there's like a news reporter doing like, on the spot interviews, I guess, or something, but the, but she's just talking to the dude, first of all, nobody's wearing a mask, fucking, she's just talking to the dude, and she goes, did you know that President Trump has COVID, and then he just gets super happy and starts like doing this weird dance. That's the type of music I think this is. <laughs> he would dance to this music. But the little girl, Yuki, she says she, was, she wasn't she was responsible. So that leaves only one possible explanation. We're here. Wait, what? One possible explanation. We're here because we flubbed the Sachiko Ever After charm. The sole reason we're all being put through this hell is because we angered, so we angered Sachiko. If only I paid more attention to Naho's blog entry. If only we performed the charm successfully. I just, I just thought that we could be friends forever. How was I supposed to know something this horrible would happen if we failed? <laughs> that dude is Russian? Oh, wow, really? <laughs> oh, man. So it is in Russia. Oh, man. That dude, he just gets super happy and he starts, like, just dancing. <laughs> and I'm like, this guy's on some shit. I love, I love this guy. What the hell kind of charm has a wrist like that anyways? In all my time dealing with this stuff, I've never... God, 
Yeah, I love how she's all like, man, I, I believe in the occult and I, I fuck with it, but the moment I do it, I didn't think it was real. <laughs> it's like, what? You're surprised? Oh my god. Hey, supposed to be my friends. I'm so sorry, everyone. Suzumoto, Shinohara. It's all my fault. You're dead because of me. And then the music just stops. <laughs> the sad music just stops and goes, alright, back to the club. Alright, so what the hell is this? It's a large story covering protective charms from variety, from variety, from virtually every or organized religion and pagan belief. Alright. For some reason, I didn't. I forgot how to say the word pagan. <laughs> Alright. So down here. Let's see what's going on. Dead bodies. This is killing me. This song is killing me. <laughs> it gets more hype the more it plays. Exactly. This song is fucking... Dude. I got it. <laughs> it's so loud. I don't know how loud the game audio is to you guys, but fucking... It is... It is blasting in my ears. <laughs> Close Closet Trash Pastor will be expelled. All right, this is where I came from. Damn. It's just so loud. Like, once it, once the music gets up, it's just full blasting in my ears. And this is the lowest my headset can go without, like, just being completely muted. All right, entry into the Empire of Japanese Secret Intelligence. Base is strictly for... Okay, cool. Read that already. Did this change? I'm pretty sure it doesn't work, but... Yeah, okay. <laughs> Fuck it, this fucking music is, it's killing me. All right. No entry trespassers will be expelled. Think about your futures. Uh, who the fuck? I don't even know how, to, I don't even know where to begin with that name. But whoever is watching you, all of Japan is watching you. I'm guessing that's the emperor at the time. This is where I came from, right? <laughs> Guess I'll just head back. Head back downstairs starts over hear the beat drop <laughs> yeah, I know it's just the music mixing and this is weird I like it but it's weird this is room a one oh I just realized we only have one entryway to the classroom I mean it's a different location but still huh that's interesting there's the pentagram Still haven't found the teacher. What the fuck? Alright, so there's nothing here for me to do. <laughs> As Ayumi. Everywhere I go is a dead end. So it's up to these guys. It's up to these fucking clowns. So we... With them, we picked up... We picked up a shoe. Picked up a phone. Can't go this way. We, um... What else did we pick up? We didn't get her charm back. Ayumi has has uh what what's her name's charm? Has um Naomi's charm. Fucking So what the hell? All right, hold up. What am I doing? Oh, that's what I'm doing. I was wondering like I knew there was some reason I went back to the other school building. I have the tape. I gotta read that tape. Read the tape. I just said I gotta read the tape. What the hell is wrong with me? Gotta go watch that tape. You know, if the rewind on the on the VCR doesn't work, you stick your finger in the hole and you just twist it yourself. Twist the film back. But don't twist it too hard. You don't want to snap the film. All right. Show me what we got. All right, here goes nothing. My mouse is in the way. Broken breathing. I shouldn't be alone. I shouldn't be alone. I can't just die. I can't lose hope. If everyone's, if anyone's watching this tape, there's a way out. I'm gonna tell you what it is right now. All you have to do is pay $19.95 to get the next installment of this video. <laughs> you need to perform the Sashiko ritual correctly. See the line one time for each person and one more. Yeah, we already knew this. Didn't we fucking... You know what's really weird? Doesn't Ayumi 
already know that we have to say the charm and everything like that. We were told that. And she has Naomi's paper charm. And instead of just being like, here, here you go. This is your fucking lifeline. She's like, eh, I forgot about it. I'll just give it back to her later. It's like, no, she needs that. <laughs> if she doesn't have it, she's fucked. She's gonna die. You need to perform the Sachiko ritual correctly. Say the line one time for each person, then one more for Sachiko. And put all your... Oh, they didn't say it won't... Wait. Did they say it one more for Sachiko? When they did it? No, I think someone said it like an extra time or some shit. And pull all your paper scraps together. I wish I'd never done it. I wish I'd never come here. How could you? How could you? Keep it key. Keep it key. Oh. Huh? I'm guessing his friend came and killed him or something? Hmm. Satoshi, wasn't that footage? Yeah, it was definitely taken in this room. Miss Seiko, all she wanted, all she wanted was butt cream. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I'm gonna butter up my pooper real good. And I said, excuse me? Are you okay? All right, here's my question. I get that they're supposed to be like super friends and stuff, right? Is she just a lesbian? She gave off a lot of lesbian vibes. I mean, especially when she's all like, gimme that ass, Naomi. And Naomi's like, uh, what? <laughs> uh, yeah, it was definitely taken in this room. I'm sitting here playing the game. She's all like, mm, give me that, give me that sweet ass. And I'm like, are you okay? Hello, Seiko? We're kind of in a, we're in like a death, a death game over here. <laughs> Uh, there you go. That's weird. <laughs> Fucking Twitch is being weird. Just to just to approve that the game froze up. <laughs> All right, we're back. There we go. Wait, what? I'm sorry. Did they tell me to open? Is the guy's dead body in here? Ah, uh, God, it smells. Sad that I recognize it. It's the smell of decay. Based on the clothes, I think we found Mr. Kibiki. Oh, shit. And the girl with him is wearing the same uniform as the spirit I saw. Oh, wow. Spoke with her, too, in the staff room. I guess they're the reins of the girl Shinazaki was telling us about. Naho, was it? Wait, so Naho's dead? Oh, wait, she did say she died, didn't she? She knew that now. Yeah, she did know that, but she was super... Everyone's flirting with everybody in this fucking game for some reason. I, almost as if we're not gonna die. What's wrong? Satoshi, is there anything further in? Like, the back of the closet? Mm hmm. I don't see anything. No, all the way back in the corner. Look closely. Isn't there, like, a gap in the wall? Oh, I think that's the murder room. I don't think I want to go there. Holy crap, there's a whole other back room here. How could you possibly have known about that? I'm honestly not sure myself, I just had a feeling. You being possessed by ghosts? <laughs> Everyone's flirting with Super Chad. Really? You think Satoshi's a Chad? I think fucking, uh... What's his name? Uh... How, how did I forget his name already? Kirish Kirishima? Kirishima? Kirishimi? Whatever the fuck. Blonde boy. He's a... He's a, uh... He's not a Chad, but he's like a rebel. But he's the closest to a Chad, because fucking... What's his name? Yeah, the blonde. Kishinuma, that's his name. Came back to me. Watch out for the two bodies. Try not to step on them. I mean, that's kind of hard to try. There's blood and guts everywhere. Where are we? It smells awful in here. Oh, this is the fuck room. Is this... There's a ladder. Where does it lead, though? Wait, Naomi. I just realized what I said. <laughs> The only one he wanted told him to take a hike. <laughs> yep. I mean, I feel bad for that man. He he put his he put his life on the line. Oh, there's a bathroom back here. Satoshi. Is this the girls' room? Why would there be a ladder leading to the girls' room? Oh. Oh no. I don't like that. Oh no. Of all the places could have been, why did it have to be here? That's right. This is where Shinohara died. I can't take this anymore. I just can't. 
Seiko's angry with me. It was my fault. It's my fault she's dead. Oh, get over yourself. Yo, you had an argument. I don't think anyone would just up and kill themselves. Well, you know what? I'm going to take that back right now. I'm not. I'm just not even going to go down that road. <laughs> Yomi, you're wrong. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't a suicide. How can you possibly say that? You weren't there, Satoshi. You didn't hear the things I heard. I mean, let's be honest, Naomi. You kind of witnessed the same thing. Like, you just was hanging yourself, and then when I saved you, you said you don't know what happened, so I'm assuming the same thing happened. Wait, is this Seiko's cell phone? Just before she died, she was really worried about you. She never actually sent it. But she dropped this while she was writing a text message, and I think you should read it. Naomi, subject, no hard feelings. So how the hell are you, babe? Sorry about earlier, sad face. I apologize, though. So, you have to forgive me now. If you don't... If you don't, I'll... Wait, what? Okay. The way that, the way that was written... Fucking... <laughs> fucking made me scared. If you don't, I'll email you a beautiful crotch shot, so watch... Oh my god. Let's get the hell out of this dump together, hand in hand. Until we meet again... You better get, you better get it with your darling mochi, or else. Anyways, I'll be waiting for you by the entranceway. We can kiss and make up. Feel bad for him. All he wanted was to rail the blue hair girl. Blue hair? <laughs> Super sick. Oh man, that's kind of fucked up. I mean, listen, I don't feel, man. I feel bad for him, but at the same time. I would have I would have been left her to die. <laughs> well, maybe not left her to die, but I mean like the moment she goes like I'm scared and runs off into the other room, I'm like, "Oh, here we go." Oh no. I was planning to wait until a little more time has passed before showing you this. I'm sorry. Oh. You feeling a little bit better now? I think so. Sorry about that. We're gonna go get out of this- we're what? We're going to get out of the school, no matter what it takes. That's what Shinohara would've wanted. Yeah. And at any rate, we know how to get out of here now. We know how to reverse Sachigo's charm. Our first priority at this point should be reconvening with Shinozaki, Yoshiki, and hopefully Miss Yui. Who's just- who's just gone into the fucking ether, right? Oh no, you're not spoiling anything, I mean we- we're we're way past that point right now. <laughs> we're in the fifth chapter. That all happened in the beginning of this. Yep, got it right here. Got mine too. Right. No. Oh God, no. Where'd I put it? My student ID is missing, and my paper scrap is it. Damn it. Calm down, Naomi. We'll find it. We just have to keep our eyes open. Okay. But I swear, I definitely, definitely had it in my skirt pocket. Wait, what? Why did I- why did I lisp there, for some reason? It was Top Girl next to Seika. You know what, I find it- I find it- well, I'll get back to that in a moment. Definitely had it in my skirt pocket, I remember it clearly. I showed it to Seiko and everything, but it's gone, it's just gone. What the hell's wrong with me? I don't know what the hell is wrong with you, Naomi, a lot. If we can't find it then, can't go home. There's no need to worry, you had it earlier, right? You probably just dropped it somewhere, I'm sure we'll find it along the way. But what if we don't? Then I'll be left behind. Can't we just get a new scrap of paper? I mean, I'm assuming we can't, because, you know, ooky spooky magic. Skirt pocket? Skirts have pockets. You don't know skirts have pockets? <laughs> is that is that something new? <laughs> then I'll be left behind, just, just me all by myself here. Definitely don't need to worry about that. I would never leave this place without you. That's a lie. The way out can wait. Right now, let's just... Let's concentrate on finding my scrap of paper. Okay. Oh, there you are! Give me the paper! Damn it. Didn't you hear what I said to you? Do I have to spell it out? Class rep. Fucking whore. Oh my god! <laughs> what? <laughs> Calm down! When did she become so savagery? Jesus! Shinozaki, glad to see you're alright. Did you find Miss Yui? I did not. <laughs> she said fucking whore like what calm down I love how she's like I just wanted us all to be friends 
<laughs> and now she's just, oh god, the raging demon inside of her. That's too bad. Well, we found Mirashigi, but it was too late. Wait, what? We found Morishigi, but it was too- What the hell are you talking about? Did he kill himself? Was that that video? <laughs> she wanted to be super friends with Satoshi. But we learned something. Wait, did Morishigi kill himself? Is that what the video was? I thought he just went crazy. So I heard. Seems you two found the way out as well. Hey. Nakashima. What? What is it? What's your problem? Perchance per is this what you're looking for? Are you okay? Are you... Huh. Ah, huh, it's my... It is indeed your student ID. The Sashiko paper scrap is safe and sound too, see? Shinozaki, you're a lifesaver. Where'd you find it? You're not gonna do what I think you're gonna do. You're not gonna do what I think you're gonna do. You're not gonna do it. Class rep, thank you. Thank you so much. I was so worried when I couldn't find it. I was afraid I'd never be able to go back home. That I was trapped here forever. Now I understand completely. Under these circumstances, this is essentially your life. It's tiny. Insignificant scrap of paper is only real hope of surviving. Oh, how comes with me? I seem to have dropped it. You want it, don't you? Please. It isn't funny. Just give it back. Funny? It's not a joke. Is this really that important to you? Then you get down to your knees and you beg for it. Why the hell are you just standing there staring at me like an idiot anyways? What? Are you possessed? You're possessed. Something's happening. What is good with you? <laughs> You're gonna make me. You're gonna make- Fucking the auto mod is going off. <laughs> it's like bad words. Can't say them. Hey, Shinazaki. What's gone into you? Eh, I'm not gonna do it. Guess you must have wanted all that- Guess you mustn't, mustn't, damn, that is a weird way to spell that. Well, I want it all badly, after all. Hmm. Look. Please, please give it back. Say it right. Please, I beg you, don't do me the honor of returning my student ID. <laughs> oh, I can't say a bad word. Well, I'm not saying you can say a bad word. I say bad words all the time, but Twitch's auto thing is going nuts. And I have to, like, allow it every time, every time the word goes through. Because Twitch is just crazy now. Shinozaki? Getting closer, getting closer. Do I burn it or do I spare it? That's a question. Stop, please, give it back! What? Whoosh, bye-bye. No, please! Oh, oh, no! What the hell happened? Look at it burn. <laughs> Alright, Usher, calm down. <laughs> let it burn. Gotta let it burn. <laughs> Ishiyama's lifeline is burning. Burning. Burning! And it's gone. Crunch. <laughs> what the fuck? Fire, sta fire safety. Gotta stomp out the embers, you know. Shinozaki, what the hell's wrong with you? What is your end game here? Like, either A, she's fucking possessed by a ghost, or B, she's really just crazy. And what's her end game? Oh, now that you're dead, and my boy toy knows that you're dead, and knows that I killed you, I can have him. What? <laughs> it's simple, Moshida. You and I are getting used that way out to get home. And in Nakashima, you can just go off somewhere and disappear. Well, we'll see you later, Moshida. What the fuck was that? Naomi, it's okay, don't worry. It's, it's not going anywhere. I did it. I actually did it. I finally put it in... Okay. What? What a rush. Just wish I had been able to give her a good ass kicking while I was at it. Oh my god, that scream, the scream of utter helplessness. Just think about it, it makes me giddy. What the fu- Hmm? 
Don't give me crap. What? Don't give a crap what happens to Naomi. But I still do have to find Miss Yui. Guess I should look around. What the fuck just happened? Oh, I'm in control of her now. What? <laughs> oh my god. She's not even possessed. She's just she's just crazy like that. What the hell? Oh my god. There's no way she's making it alive after this. She she's gonna die. Soon I T Dude, there's no way she's making it out of this shit alive now. She just sealed her fate. Oh my god. What? <laughs> I don't know what to say. That was... That was out of nowhere. Oh man, I gotta read this shit. Oh man, I gotta take a drink of my water because... Holy shit. All right, chase down a hidden pass at the cursed school building. I shouldn't be alone. I shouldn't be alone. Oh, uh, we are not the first ones to come here. It seems there's been many of us before, and every one of them has either died or been swallowed by the school itself. I'm not simply using the word swallowed for dramatic effect either. It is regrettably an apt description. There's a massive curse and wow, encompassing this entire building. It's like an identity onto itself, and it slowly devours the souls of men. It chips away at a person's core, sanity, reason, even identity, eventually destroying him. Nothing that made him who, who he remains. Alright, I'm, I'm guessing the school's curse is just messing with her or something. <laughs> every, 60, every 60 seconds he gets rejected. <laughs> what the hell? Wow. Uh, once it's gripped at your heart, you'll quickly succumb to despair and loneliness. The essence of what happened... What makes you human is literally eaten away, as if by worms. When this happens, your body begins to necrotize, and your soul becomes as black as a splint ash. We come to regret this. We come to regard this uh, process as darkening. And whoever succumbs to the darkening becomes an inseparable part of the school itself. In rare instances, one may be able to avoid the full act of darkening. Instead, uh, instead faded to be seared unbearably by what the f am i reading this correctly am i crazy <laughs> one may be able to avoid the full act of darkening instead fated to be seared seared yeah seared unbearably by intense violent thoughts and emotions so right now so ayumi's going through the fucking darkening right now i'm assuming because there's no way for her to just snap like that but most of the time, souls will be rooted really here, cursed to wander these halls for eternity with no hope of passing or ex exorcism. Thus, my use of word swallowed, the school swallows us whole, growing fatter with tortured souls every day. It makes me shudder just thinking about it. That means by the means by which I've come here, the Sashiko charms. If it if it's peculiar wow. If it's peculiar as even got out in the mainstream, the school would never be hungry again. To any who may be reading the fourth installment, and soon the fifth, it's clear that you're a victim of trapped within this hellish place, just as I am. The least I can do is give you some advice to help keep you alive as long as possible. If you still have even the dimmest shred of hope, hang on to it. Keep it firmly in your heart. Never give up on it. I can't stress that enough. I hope you'll be looking forward to part five. My aunt, my assistant, has disappeared somewhere. Now that I am by myself, I can no longer go home. So, I'm just going to keep writing. It is my one true calling, after all. No matter what happens, as long as there's life left in me, as long as my hands can still move, I will never stop writing. Damn. Those are her true emotions. She just... She... Been, man, I still can't get over that. That is some tough shit. Oh man, how are you guys holding up out here? Wow. <laughs> if cartels figure out how to use the school, be trafficking drugs, super simple. Oh yeah, trust me. Well, I mean, Sachiko, Sachiko would want to get out on that, right? What's in here? Oh, this is the... No, what's this? A brown envelope is resting promptly up top the bodies of Naho and Kibiki. 
definitely wasn't there before. Too dark to see what's in it. Let's step outside and take a look. It's a photogram. Photogram? Photograph. What? No, it can't be. Am I dying? The photograph in the hollow clear depicts Yuka, and she doesn't look well. Uh, no, please no. What? Was I, was I not supposed to do that? <laughs> Gotta give Sashiko her cut, exactly. What the hell? Did I, did I just fuck them up? <laughs> what the hell is this? Was this here before? That wasn't there before. I call bullshit. I don't I'm not sure if I just messed up or not. I read a letter and she just disappeared. Tell me the choice I made for Yuka. Um, well, the guy was like, what did I do? Wait, hold up. Listen, listen. Listen, all right? The guy, what's his name? Kaz Kazami or whatever the fuck. He was all like, you okay? And I just asked him, I said, hey, what the hell was that noise? Cause it's more suspicious to just be quiet. Might as well let him lie his through his fucking teeth, right? Then, <laughs> then he started chasing me. So I went downstairs, hooked the left or whatever the hell, and then Sachiko put a cabinet in front of me and I said, well, fuck you. Then I found the key and got the hell out of there. As I'm running back into this building, Sachigo goes, follow me. Wait, hold up. Sachi goes, goes, follow me. And then I say, hell no, you tried to get me killed earlier. So I just ran straight. He caught me, right? But then I'm in a room with him. And apparently the teacher who lost his mind comes and saves me from him. Sachiko walks in the room and I'm assuming he pushed me down a hallway. I fucked up. I don't think I fucked up. I don't think I fucked. The guy came and saved me. I didn't get caught by him. I got caught by him via cutscene. Not caught by him. So, yes, I was caught by him. <laughs> yes, I was caught by him. But I definitely was not trusting Sachiko. She tried to fucking kill me. <laughs> she tried to kill me and then went like, here, come follow me. And I said, fuck no, I'm not doing that. You tried to kill me earlier. What's wrong with you? Why would I follow you? What am I, psychopath? Oh, there's a doorway there. I didn't even see that. This room seems to be set up for black magic or witchcraft or something. Dead. Uh, mm, I'm dead. I fucked up. Mm, potato. <laughs> I like potatoes. My head, my head's throbbing. Why isn't anyone coming to help me? A nosebleed now? God. I need a tissue. Pulls the tissue from her pocket. She inev inadvertently pulled out the student ID as well. It slipped from her hands and immediately falls through the hole in the floor. Yep, I'm dead. <laughs> Why? My student ID. What kind of... Wait, what kind of ending is this? Is this just, you walked in a room, you fucked up? <laughs> what? Miss Shishido, I can't, I'm sorry. I made a terrible mistake. But I'll be a good girl now, so please forgive me. What are you talking about? Come on. Over here, there's nothing to be afraid of anymore. It really is you. Where have you been all this time? I've been worried sick. I'm sorry. Must have been, tele uh, must have been terrifying in here all by yourself. Oh god, Miss Shishido, you're injured pretty severely too. From the looks of it. Shinoza What? My arm. It's in bad shape. Shinozaki, come on, stand up. We're getting out of here. What? Mishishido? Mishishido! Come on, you're almost there. Mishishido, Mishiyumi. What the fuck just happened? Wait, I walked in a room, lost my paper. The teacher's there. At first, I thought it might just be a trick and a ghost is killing me. But apparently... What? What is with this? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can never take back what I've done. Monsieur, I'm so sorry. 
Kishinuma, where the hell are you? What are you doing? Why aren't you responding? At least write me back, for God's sake. If you really did follow me here, then show your damn face already. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. I'm dead. I did something wrong, didn't I? I walked in the room and just instantly died. <laughs> you have any idea how worried I've been? If you don't respond to my text, how am I supposed to know you're alright? Do you have no service or something? Did you run out of batteries? Yeah, I have- what? <laughs> what is going- what is this game? <laughs> Chapter 5, she's been fucky. Are you alright? Yuko, she's probably scared out of her mind. In a lot of pain. I wasn't there for her, she was all alone. Don't blame yourself, it's not your fault, Satoshi. Naomi? It's not your fault. Oh, hey! <laughs> Glad to see you're back. I have no idea what's going on right now. <laughs> so whose fault is it then? Whose fault is it, Naomi? Huh? Damn it. Show yourself whoever the fuck you are. You must be you must be getting a really good laugh out of this watching us suffer. The gang's all here. <laughs> uh what what is it? I just happened to glance out the window at the covered walkway between the two buildings and I saw a red dress. Oh shit. What? Goddamn piece of shit, little girl. I'm gonna make her pay for what she's done. This is my true ending. Really? Really? <laughs> You have no right to mess with the living. What the hell is going on with this? That doesn't sound good. <laughs> Hold it right there, Sachiko. What? Uh, pull yourself together. What happened to you? Naomi, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna make it. Thanks for the follow. I can't see who did it, but thank you right now. Because <laughs> the way this game works, I got I gotta have the the window. Hey, you fucked up. I fucked up. I'm pretty sure I did. I lost my will to live. Don't say that. This is my paper doll scrap. I want you to have it. Tell you no. You need to find Shinozaki and then go home. So uh, okay. So how? Wait, what? <laughs> What is going on? You need a reason to keep living, and then I'll give you one. Do it for me, damn it. Keep on living for me. Nail me. What the fuck? What is happening? They're gonna kill each other. Miss you, he's dead. I miss you. Nail me. Where'd you get the paper doll scrap? Is it Mochita's? No, Satoshi still has his own. This is Yuka's. Poor girl, she didn't make it either. Hmm, so that means there are two between the both of you. Sorry to ask, but can I have that one? I lost mine. You're a real jackass, you know that? Actually, I'm only asking because I wound up losing mine, so give it here. Oh! <laughs> Dude! Hmm. Check it out, Mochita. I killed her. I killed her. I killed her. I killed her. <laughs> she just starts dancing and twirling. You know what this reminds me of? If you ever watched um, High School of the Dead, it's in the very first episode when like all hell breaks loose. There's there's these two girls running up the stairs going, ah, we're best friends forever. And then one of them gets grabbed by a zombie and the other one turns around. She says, get off me, you bitch, and just kicks her down the steps. I'm like, oh my God. The filthy pig is gone. You're free to be with me. Come on, let's get out of here together. Sorry, Naomi. Looks like I get the guy after all. Where the friend tosses her? Yeah, it, it, was, it was so fucked up. And then she turns around and a zombie just grabs her. The darkening? No. No, no, no. Wait, if Mochita's not with me, then how do I get back home? No, that's... Ugh! Oh. She's like, that was my only way home.
wrong end, I guess. Alright, so what did I do wrong? Let's start from the beginning, right? The choice has happened. The guy goes like, what's up? You look scared. I said something because it's more suspicious just to be like, no nah, man, nothing's wrong. When she's obviously shaking in front of him. I let you could die. <laughs> I let nobody die. So what? Do it. Alright, here's the question. Do I have to start from the beginning? I'm gonna have to start from the beginning. You know what? I'm gonna have to start from the beginning. Fuck it. So... I'm assuming he chases you regardless, right? Does that happen no matter what? Because I chose was that you. Then he chases me. Then Sachiko goes like, come, follow me. And I went, fuck no, you tried to kill me earlier. So am I supposed to follow Sachiko? Am I supposed to stay quiet? What, what, what are we doing here? I walked into the inside of room and I died. That was crazy. I need some hints. I can't do this on my own. There's too much. There's too many endings to this game. I can't do this on my own. And I refuse to look up a guide. I refuse. I wish I knew. And this is your adventure. My adventure. My adventure. I'm trying to finish this game tonight. Oh, damn it. Fine, I'll, I'll stay silent this time if he starts chasing me regardless. What? I don't like that you're behind me. It makes me feel uncomfortable. You really are shaking. Uh, my, I asked what your sister's like. Well, my, may, may I ask what your sister's like? Well, certainly, she's a very cute little girl, quite small, but with the big, big guys. Let's see. Her hair's short, and she's in junior high. And if I recall, she was always wearing a blue smock? A what? Because as you see, you are my little sister. I think I'll be okay on my own. Okay, so he chases me no matter what. Alright. He chases me no matter what. are you saying, Yuka? Yeah, he chases me no matter what. I am your big brother. Alright, so am I so am I supposed to follow Sachiko? Cause I don't think I am. <laughs> and there's simply no no way out of here. Everyone's gonna die. So let's continue to be brother and sister until our dying breaths. Goodbye. He's like, I'm out of here. Take off full sprint. <laughs> Give us a good show. Oh fuck this. Oh, man. Okay, so what happened last time was that... Wait, no, that's not the right way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save over... Save over this, because I'm just assuming this is... <laughs> this is just null and void now. Alright. So this guy dies. He comes and he starts chasing me. Can I skip this? Yeah, because I've seen this already. He knocks me out. Then he gets stabbed up. Alright. Alright, and then I came here and she said, Nuh uh. And then she was all like, Why don't you. She's like, Why don't you follow me? That's exactly why I don't trust her, because she did that shit. So, what I did last time was that I ran up here. Yeah, leave me alone, you psychopath. I ran up here, and I ran, I did the whole circuit. Ran around, grabbed the key, went back, and went out through the front. So, I'm assuming I have to do that. I just, I just don't trust Sachiko, you know? Handsome psychopath. It's not important. It's not important. Psychopath nonetheless. 
He's kind of sexy. <laughs> He's a sexy dude. I wouldn't go gay for him, but... Eh. <clears throat> I ran into the piano room and fucking glass fell on the floor. I remember that. I don't know if that affects anything. <laughs> One smooch, that's all. Alright, I baited him up here. Hopefully I can run past him again. Because I feel like if he just catches up to me, like it's an instant, it's an instant, it's over. You know what I mean? Right? And then I went through the front door. <laughs> and then... Yeah, you're not so tough now, aren't you? Look at you, fucking stupid ass. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you try and murder me? Run, rabbit, run. I mean, I feel like if he really wanted to catch me, he can just take on full sprint right now. My little stubby legs can only take me so far. Actually, I'm... I'm kind of wondering. Yeah, no, that would kill me. All right. I was wondering if those just, like, disappeared at all. So. <laughs> yeah, okay. Down here. You stay over there. You stay over there. You mind your own business. You don't come over here. Why doesn't it show up and hit <laughs> the school so tough? Why, don't sh <laughs> Why you don't show up and fight me? want to scrap with the school I left my shoe I remember trying to pick it up that didn't work and you know what I'm gonna save right here right in front of him so I don't have to go and grab the key no more I'm out of here all right and this is where this is where I made my mind right Sachiko goes Come follow me. And I'm like, you just tried to kill me earlier. And I know you're super evil. And then I just went straight and he caught me. Let's see. Rabbit run. Oh! Oh! What the hell? So you're supposed to tr trust the murderous child? <laughs> what? Okay, and then Morishigu sits here. And then he finds out that he's been looking at the dead body of fucking Mayu for the longest time. Because she's like, don't look at my dead body. Yeah, he gets the message. He's like, good thing, the dead is keeping me sane for some reason. So what's his deal? Does he just have, like, a weird fetish or something? This one's the flashiest by far, utterly pulverized against the wall, nearly near the infirmary. Ooh, absolutely breathtaking. She She's reduced to nothing more than a chaotic jumble of flesh. But not long ago, all of it was connected. This was once human being walking and talking with a mind of her own. It's what gets him off. Really? That That's literally it? He's just a fucking freak? She must be embarrassed to show her face, her face there, with such a hideous, disfigured appearance. Probably feel bad for her, if she wasn't completely a stranger. And he's like, who the hell? She's like, don't look at me, man. Don't look at me. I don't have my makeup on yet. It's still the early morning. I have yet to assemble my battle station. Stop staring at my insides. Shig, please. Does Yuka come in? Come in, like, save him from going insane? Okay. Hmm. Chapter 5. 
find it I find it confusing as hell that the game's like, no, trust the trust the person who you know is a murderer. And then they sit here and talk for a while. And then he they have their little moment. Right? Listen. What? You didn't give me this option before. Alright, we'll go back. You out of your mind? Ah, shit. Oh, God. Why'd they give me only three save spots? Jesus. All right, let's go. Fine, damn it. We'll go back after all. I don't have a lot of real friends. I hate to lose the ones I do. What's that? You mumbling. What are you mumbling about? Nothing. Nothing at all. Just being super cucked over here. He looks like a super... He's going super simp. Wow, really? I was hoping I could see uh, Miki just one more time, but I guess I'll have to put that aside. Oh, he automatically uses the second option when you're caught, really? And now the music's going crazy! <laughs> uh huh? I'm sorry, I really am, but I wish best of luck to you. This is something I think Satoshi and the others may need. If you find them, please give it to them for me. marble statue <laughs> good ass music the music good it's just <laughs> it's just that the game is on like yeah time for death and dismember myth <laughs> and i'm like what the hell because she's following them around the school right now i can't get close enough there's another statue like it though a red one if you find it make sure you get that one too understood the three of us are prepared for the challenge ahead now that our tongues have been restored but due, but due to our momentary awakening, the balance of these closed spaces have begun to collapse. Be very, very careful. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting bunny rabbits. Also, remember, in order for Sachiko to feel remorse, you must appeal to her humanity. You must pur purify her soul. That is the only way. Have a fun vibe in. Save, keep the save. Hmm. Alright. So the next time you see me. So, save right now and keep this save. The other one's fine. I can get rid of the other one. Alright, yeah. For now, let's just focus on finding on Satoshi and Miss Yui and the others. So, aside from Miss Yui, the only other person we've seen so far are Suzumoto and Morishigi. And we explored pretty much everywhere. You sure the others are even here? Well, think about it. Remember the closed spaces? That first ghost we saw told us all about them when we got here with Miss Yui. Basically, anyone who can find... Wait, what? Anyone who can't find is pro... Wait. Anyone who can't find is probably in another version of the school. I don't think that's a sentence. Alright. Which is why we... Which is why we never ran into them. Is there something you fail to understand? Huh? Nah. Oh, uh, yeah. But wait a minute. What if, what if that's the case? How the hell are we supposed to tell them about the murderer? I mean, we can't even find them. Yuki just told us how. She said the closed spaces have started breaking down. That might mean, sh uh, what? That might mean, should mean that, all right, well, she stuttered on her own words and caused me to stutter. Should mean that the connections between the dimensions are changing too. So come on, let's try searching for them again, Mishishido and everyone else. Okay, got it. For real? When I say I got it, I got it. It is not, he said, chill. When I say I got this, I got this. <laughs> if that's not the child spirit summoning hordes of innocent people to the school and trapping them here until they die, then you kind of have to ask yourself, who is responsible, you know? Yeah. Fucking music is going stupid. <laughs> so I believe in you. So this is the one I just saved. So... I don't have to worry about this save. I can just... Be fine with this one. Keep that one. That'll be fine. <laughs> Fate is not set in stone. Maybe I can't hide them under here. I uh, can't feel the air of my own. Feels weird. Wait, what? Can't feel the air on my own. <laughs> I just, I just added the word own, didn't I? What the hell is wrong with me? 
never played Legacy of Kane. No, I've actually never played Legacy of Kane. I wanted to for a long time, but then someone told me that it's just a jumbled mess. <laughs> I'll still be interested in playing it, but yeah. Tossing stones in the river, the current will just go around. Oh shit! Not give a damn about obstructions. So it's like it's like the MCU. <laughs> it's like Endgame. Just fuck around in the past, and nobody cares about the, <laughs> about the consequences. Uh, it's been nothing but earthquakes since we got here. I hope the school doesn't fall apart. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. Who knows? I'm just saying. You know, I'm just saying. She, anyone has yet to piss in that bucket. I'm still waiting for it. No one has pissed in the bucket yet. I, I said, like, I'm pretty sure someone needs to pee in that bucket in order for us to live Look how alive she looks. Really. And look how fucking dead I'm gonna be. Said all look how alive she looks. Alright. Does anything uh does anything look different to you? Very. This is the same school we were in before. Well this isn't the same school we were in before. It's totally different heavenly host. Yeah, his creepy factor is through the roof. Chills in the air is the constant dark. Uh, presence. We need to find the others and get the hell out of here. Yeah. All right. So, here's a quick question for you guys. I'm not sure if anyone really cares, but I do. Dragon Ball Fighters. You guys see the announcement today? The two new characters. <laughs> hey, Shinazaki. What is it? Are you hurt? You got a whole lot of blood on your um. Post posterior. Huh? What? You serious? You scrape your butt on a piece of broken wood or something? Looks kind of... Shut the hell up already. Jeez. It's like... <laughs> Look the other way for a minute. Yeah, as Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. The only good thing to come out of that fucking GT shit. God, does the boy have no concept of tact? Damn it all. What do I do about this? I don't have my gym bag here, so change of clothes is out of question. I really don't want to meet up with Moshida or the others looking like this, though. So that's what the red thing on <laughs> on her skirt was for the longest time. I'm like, what the hell is that? God damn it. I can't take this anymore. Oh, what is that? What's that? Oh my god, it's a student ID. Someone we know must be nearby. I wonder whose it is. No mistaking, even got a scrap of paper from Sashiko's charm. Shinozaki, what the hell is taking you so long? Is that someone's student ID? It's not. It's Naomi's. She must have been here somewhere. Naomi, you there? If you are, please answer me. Naomi! Guess she's not that nearby. Let's look for her. She can't be far. Big brother? Big bro? You around here? Ah, uh, that's hot. Yuka! Honestly, who bites their sibling on the shoulder? And why- wait, what? <laughs> Blowing air on me? Wait. <laughs> okay, I was confused. He's all like, oh, that's hot! And then he goes like, why would you bite me on the shoulder? I'm like, that- that's your reaction to that? But she blew air on him, okay. <laughs> oh, my little psychopathic sister. Oh, I love you so. Big brother, it's time for dinner. And I was so hungry that I couldn't help myself. That's why I took a chomp out of your arm. Oh, is that late already? I'll be right down, thanks. But next time, how about telling me rather than doing whatever it is you just did? No can do, for I am a savage animal. Look at me crawl. Mom! Big bro's on his way. What a goofball. She'll be the death of me one day. Look at that evil closet. She left the door open again, too. Yuka. Guess that was just a dream. My head is throbbing. It's pitch black, too. What happened? I remember there was a big earthquake. What is this? There's something in my hand. It's really tender. Some kind of meat? What the hell am I? 
what the hell? I think he means where the hell or something. <laughs> what the hell am I? What am I? A human? Oh no. It's a titty. I'm sorry. Come in, Osai. Please. No, man, I'm sorry. Please don't misunderstand. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna skip all this because we read it before. Damn. But shit. All right. Back to murder. Wait, do I gotta look in here now? Is he gonna tell me to look in the? Oh wait, no. We have to talk to um. What you call it? He's over here grabbing titties instead of finding the way out. <laughs> He's like, listen, now's my chance. Yeah, it's like we're feeling, uh, feeling the, oh yeah, okay. So I read all this up until the point where she comes back. Yeah. Stoshi. Hey, where the fuck is, right behind you. Okay, I, I was like, where the hell is Nishikyama? <laughs> Super Chad. Listen, no, I don't think he's a Chad. He's just a, you know, he's just your, uh, your basic shonen character, right? He must, he must Mamoru all the, all the waifus he can Mamoru. Me too. I was beginning to wonder what I'd do without you. Hey, pretty sorry we, uh, pretty sorry, wait, what? Pretty sorry a lot we've drawn. Oh yeah, that makes sense. It's, it's a slang. I couldn't understand it. I couldn't decipher it. Poor Suzumoto. And Shinohara too, that's crazy. God damn it, she was just with us a few hours ago. I'm just gonna like, kinda skim through this, cause I don't wanna reread the stuff that I read already. <laughs> so just see like, any changes that may have happened here. Makes me worse clap res. Okay. That we are. Remember, murder Sachiko. Alright. Fucking Nishikiyama's pretty quiet. <laughs> I don't think this really changes that much. I wouldn't assume so either because, uh. Because I assume when they were making this game, they didn't want to write that much basic shonen characters. Alright. Yeah, Nishikiyama's just pretty fucking quiet. I don't think he. I can't skip this either because technically I haven't seen this already. Wait, of course not. Come on, we have to work together on this. How about two of us look for more information? Sounds good. Satoshi, got something for you. Oh, there you go. Don't know what it is, but the girls ghost we made friends with said to give it to you. Come on, let's go. Class rep, take care, okay? <laughs> Naomi? Hmm? Don't get too close to Moshida. Huh? I'm still, I'm still reeling back from that. She said, fucking whore. I was like, whoa. Hey, Shinozaki, what the hell's wrong with you? Who was that? I don't think you look dis, uh, discouraged enough. Try scowling some more. Uh, student ID and paper doll scrap. I forgot to give them back. We can do that later. There's no hurry, really. Things are starting to look up. It's definitely not the time to mope. She's such a bitch. <laughs> I mean, can can I really blame her? Well, I mean, let's be honest. We can blame her, but this is also... Apparently, she's going through the darkening, I guess. So, she's not herself. You know, she's not herself when she's hungry. Eat a Snickers. <laughs> let me let my personal feelings cloud my judgment and spoke harshly towards classmate for no reason. And I'm a class representative. Not here. Uh, not here you aren't. Here, you're playing old Ayumi. Okay. I would be able to Kurt with her. I just asked Kurt with her. If, oh, wow. I'm, I'm having moments here. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, maybe. That actually made me feel a little better. Thanks. Don't mention it. Really, though, even if we did track down Sachiko, I don't have the slightest idea how we could possibly elect any remorse from her. Let's just try to find Miss Yui. And even if we have... Okay. Are we, are we done? We're done. Cool. <laughs> You're not following multiple parties. All right, skip that. Cool. Now there's a save point over here, just so that we don't have to. Re
read all that again. So, keep this save. This save can go. All right. That's that is that is not a way out. <laughs> All right. Head down here. Let's see what adventure await us. Oh. Why, hello. Time to follow the evil spirit. Huh. I see nothing wrong with this. Small notebook on the floor here. Pick it up. Sure. What is it? Recognize signature anyway. It's not host. Finding a say I don't mean to pry, but this could be important. Let's open the notebook. Feel bad for the dead fish eyed girl. She was hot. Wait, what? <laughs> what do you wait what? What are you on about? What girl are you talking about? A few papers still inside covered with with the uh, You mean Naho? <laughs> fish eyed? Oh, you mean like cause her pupils don't spark? She has no color in her eyes. I scribble words, but there's space for many more. Yeah, okay. Naho notes one out of five. Do I gotta find all five of her notes? Jesus. Examination of sacred spaces, file two. Investigation in progress, method of. Okay. Obtain. We'll need to gather more information on the plan very carefully, but it can be done. Encounter fierce spiritual resistance while supplying research. While su supplying. While simply researching the Shinozaki estate. Right side of body paralyzed, left eardrum ringing, orbs vis visible in photographs, influence confirmed. Severe dizziness, nausea, and blood BM experienced. Oh shit. Significant danger is clearly present. Next investigation will place others at risk. Maybe best to leave Kibiki behind. Seems he returned empty handed again today. How many times has he how many times has that happened with this publisher? Great such interesting places, but never receives due credit. Places? Pieces, my bad. Because she has dead fish eyes. They're too daft. They don't appreciate him. Poor guy can't catch a break. But all that will change once his next serial is published. I'll do everything in my power to help him get the recognition he deserves. Now, how we'll frequently post these, uh, we'll post these e eh, examinations of sacred places in a blog. This must be some, some of that data. Okay. She was simply, she was sipping for a writer. <laughs> isn't that an anime that came out like this year? Fucking, isn't it like, um, isn't like the synopsis of it is she's all like, does he love me, or is he just write, uh, using me to write a story? I wish I can have... Well, I wish I could have met her under normal circumstances and made friends with her or something. And had her pass me this book so I can read it over, uh, over the next update with her blessing, instead of just finding it. I have no idea. Now, he has always been my hero, the person I've admired the most. Huh? I don't. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about papers just appearing out of thin air. I, a part of me feels like I shouldn't read them. <laughs> Can you imagine going to Super Party in the school? I haven't. I have watched Konosuba, I haven't had a chance to, like, sit down and really watch that much. I think I've only seen, like, I've seen up to, um, who's the last one that joins them? And in, in the initial four, I'm not sure if there's more. I think the blonde girl is the last one that shows up. I've seen her show up. And that's it. I didn't really sit down and watch Konosuba that much. I haven't watched anime in a long time. I'm gonna sit down and watch it. You know what? I think the last anime I sat down and watched was, uh... It was Way. There, there's a couple that I said- I kind of watched, like, short series. Because it's just what I have time for. So, for example, one of them is, uh... One of them is- what, what is it? It's like, what are you doing here, teacher, or whatever? Some loose pages from now, so there's a notebook like, haphazardly spraying on the floor. 
Okay, I had final exam today, so I went to school for the first time in quite a while. Seems while I was gone, Kibiki came to Heavenly Host without me. It's too dangerous. We don't have enough data, he says, trying to justify why he's sulking to the sacred grounds behind my back. He, his assistant, most likely put him to it. I did give him all the details on how to return home from here, and it's a fairly simple process, but I can't, I can't help, uh, can't help worrying about him nonetheless. The one with the Tam Jinchi? Yeah. He's all like, <laughs> she's like, hey, I took every soda and mixed it all together. And I'm like, oh god, here we go. At any rate, the blog, the blog's been updated. I feel bad about dragging my friend Sasaki into this. But it's time to drive headfirst into these trenches and really fill out what the place is all about. What is this, blood? Uh, could have happened to her before she died here. She's 10 out of 10. Honestly, I try, like, I really try, like, I, um, what was it? I remember, I, there's a lot of times where I'll look at an anime and then I'll just run to, like, whatever group that I'm hanging out with and I'll just be like, guys, listen, you have to watch this before it gets too oversaturated and everyone's talking about it and you see that hot topic and stuff. And, for example, one of those was uh, Demon Slayer. Because I read the manga a while ago, like I have the physical manga in my room. I read it a while ago, and then the anime came out, and I, and I was like, eh, it might not be that, it might not be anything. And then within like the first two minutes, I can see that they're transitioning to like 3D animation for the most mundane shit ever. And I was like, wait a minute, they put a lot of money in this. Hold up. And I fucking called everyone. I was like, listen, you gotta watch this before everyone gets on it. I'm telling you, you have to watch it now. And they're like, man, what are you talking about? That sucks. And I was like, what are you talking about? Look at that. And then, and then like two months later, they're like, man, yo, Demon Slayer. And I'm like, yeah, see, I told you to watch it, but now I don't care about it no more. <laughs> Aaron and I will detail the proper, proper uh, adverses, adverses? Ob observance. Uh, of Sachiko's, of Sachiko's charm, as well as mean of reversing its effects and returning home. Demon Slayer was picked up by the guys who threw millions at fate. Yeah. I mean, at least the good thing with Demon Slayer is... I'm not caught up on it as of now, but from what I... From what I've heard, the manga's already ended. So there's no room for an editor to come in and be like... But can he be Bo... Can he, can he be Goku, though? <laughs> right? Because there's always some time in anime... There's always a moment where an editor comes out of nowhere and they go, Okay, I understand you're trying to write a story, but tell me if he can beat Goku, though. And that's what they're doing with, like, My Hero right now. That's why I don't... I don't really care about My Hero no more. Must be chanted once per... Sorry. Obtain of evil. Really? I've heard about... Is that the one with, like, the little blonde girl? And she's like... She's like German or something. Then the proxy doll is to be torn apart. Should the proxy doll recover from the ruins of the old Sinazaki estate be unavailable? A printed, printed, uh, fem, fes, oh, wow, I can't even say the word for simile. Will suffice in the purpose. If the ritual is performed, however, then Sasuke herself will descend upon any variable spirit medium in the vicinity, and all presents will be afflicted. Uh, all present will be afflicted with her curse and spirit away. All right. If you if you angered Sachiko, you may atone by redoing the ritual properly, but in reverse. Speak the spell trigger once for each participant, and the number differs from before. This must be taken into account. Also, add one for Sachiko. Then reassemble the scraps. Uh, reassemble the scraps of paper part. Okay. Huh. Guess we gotta go find those... Those scraps of paper. A little warmonger girl? <laughs> Remember this. Yeah, fucking... I did see... I did see some, like, battle scenes from it. And I was like, oh, this seems pretty interesting. It's just... I have a hard time getting into certain animes when so many people flock over it, because then... Like, here's the thing. I, I'm so appreciative of, of, like, animes that get, like, their big, um... You know, their big audiences, because 
you know, more people there means more of the stuff you want to see, right? They'll make more of the stuff that you want. But at the same time, it's a double-edged sword because then they start getting away from what they originally intended and then fucking they have to adhere to the masses. I know you watch it for yourself. I know that, trust me, but it's just... It's you watch it for yourself, but then at some point, depending on how how the editors will attack said work of art, it'll just change and then you no longer care about it. Like, the big example I can give right now is fucking Naruto. Like, everyone likes Naruto, everyone likes Boruto, you know, to each their own. But for me, Naruto happened. The story was about a kid and fucking, like, Ika, uh, what's his name? Aruka says it right there. He's like, Naruto, no matter where you come from, no matter your bloodline, no matter whatever the hell, no matter if you have innate ability or whatever, none of that is important because if you work hard towards a goal, you can ascertain it. And then now we're at a point where it's like, man, fuck that. Let's blow the planet half, half, half apart. You're the son of the fourth Hokage. You're also the descendant of the sages and all that shit. And it's like, you have something that even though people didn't like it in the beginning, you have something that's trying to... Where the fuck is the room that I'm supposed to be going to? It's not in here. You have something where, um... Where... Why, why am I... Why am I blanking here? You have something where they're trying to get a certain story across, and then too many people get aboard it, and now you have to appease the masses. And then they don't tell that story no more. They just get further and further away from it. Things try to get too deep. I, I don't think it. I don't think it tries to get too deep. It's just that the writer had an intended story, and then because it's doing so well, and since they sell their rights to the uh, publishing companies for them and stuff, they now have to appease the masses instead of go after what they originally wanted to. And that's what that's what my hero's doing right now too. And it's just like, man, I don't want to, I don't want to watch another Naruto, another Dragon Ball, another fucking, look at Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball, is, Dragon Ball is so far away from its intended thing. Like, we all know Gohan was supposed to be the next one, but, you know, people cried that Goku died, so bring him back. Where the fuck, do I have to trigger something with the other guys? Because I don't think I can go anywhere right now. I don't think I can go anywhere. I'm gonna I'm gonna look around one more time, but yeah, there's only. Is there a uh, is there a doorway behind the thing over here? No. Okay. I'm assuming I have to switch to the other party and maybe interact with something. Then, then they can go somewhere. Told the old man Hokage take care of him. <laughs> Where the fuck that man go? Everyone's grateful sacrifice Naruto to care old man. Okay. Shit on Naruto. Gets pawned off to sacrifice Sensei. Yeah. I don't know, man. Fucking. And then you have the worst effect. Okay, so there's definitely... I can't go anywhere right now. That's what's happening right now. I just gotta... Switch... Switch... Parties. And that's like... Naruto's biggest offender to me is I'm just trying to think what should I save over um all right here's the thing to me here's how I perceive Naruto now you watch you watch the original Naruto it ends after the Sasuke arc nothing happens after that then you watch Shippuden and then it ends after pain everything after that I don't care I don't want to know about it it's shitty I sure as fuck don't give two shits about Boruto I so don't care and then, oh, let's see this. I'm all bloody and wear my shoes. Aren't, aren't you just presage? Presage? Presage. Precious. <laughs> oh, hey. You look super evil. Who are you? Why are, were you the one who saved me when I was running from the scary man? Chortle. Did she just chortle at me? You just chortle at me? You're so cute. I just want to mess you right up. 
Excuse me? Huh? Will you listen to what I have to say? Sure, I guess I can do that. I'm afraid of ghosts, but somehow you don't seem that scary to me. Really? Huh. Who did you think you were talking to, little girl? I'll wring your damn neck just to watch you squirm. Uh... <laughs> some Yuri shit right there. <laughs> And that's why I didn't trust her. <laughs> Alright. Oh, there's another body at the top of the stairs. What the hell's up with this building? Everywhere you look is nothing but death. Wait, what's this? Morshiki's cell phone. Video save memory. Okay, so we did this already. He said another body at the top of the stairs. Is it supposed to be Morshiki? I don't think it is. I'm gonna save it here, all right? Yeah, so Naruto ends at the pain arc for me. Nothing happens after that because the biggest offender is, well, let's bring back Madara. And it's like, well, here's Madara. And then apparently, here's what I've heard. I'm not sure if it's true, but apparently the writer made Madara so powerful that the team couldn't possibly kill him. So then they bring in, uh, they bring in Kaguya, and then she kills him, and then they kill Kaguya, and then I sit there and I look at it and I'm like, wait a minute, you're telling me that they couldn't kill the guy because he's too powerful, but they can kill the person who was way more powerful than him? Kind of makes no sense when you put it that way. I will say, though, the coolest shit that ever came out of that was we finally got to see what the eight gates of death looked like. That shit was awesome. It was the best thing ever. Also, here's another thing with Naruto that's really kind of stupid. It's... <laughs> the whole story from the beginning is, Hey, Naruto, it doesn't matter about natural talent and bloodlines and shit. As long as you train super hard, you can achieve any dream you have. And then you have a character who literally does that, which is Rock Lee, and he loses every fight he's in. Not counting the filler fights or whatever. Every major fight Rock Lee is in, he loses... And if, you're, and if you think that him fighting Kishimaru is a win, Kishimaru was about to kill him and Gara, And fucking... But he died right in the middle of it. <laughs> His sickness killed him. So, like... Uh, like, that, I've gotten to a point where I'm so sick of getting to that point in anime that it's just hard for me to get into something that's super popular. Because it's like, I just don't want to deal with that no more. Had a demon where you could just leech power from him. I will say one of the coolest things that Naruto... Well, first of all, the absolute coolest thing that ever happened in Naruto was... Was knock knock at the door. Oh, Master Jiraiya, are we ready to do training? And he opens the door and Itachi just shows up. Unannounced. Nobody, nobody asked him to be there. He's just there and he's all like, oh, time to get it. <laughs> Time for the day of reckoning has come. That's like the coolest thing ever when the villain just shows up unannounced and nobody expected it. Learn so much about Naruto. Naruto is Naruto is cool, but it's just that you know it w it became too popular for its own good, <laughs> and it sucks because you definitely want the thing you like to get popular so you can have more of it. But you also wanted to retain its original idea. But that rarely happens unless you have a piece of work that you manage to finish before editors can get a hold of it. Believe the girl. Where the hell am I supposed to be going? Wasn't there a, um... Wasn't there a tape... In here somewhere? Where's that tape? And then you have something like Bleach, right? Where Bleach just, for some reason, oh, Yuka. Oh, thank God, you're all right. You hurt? 
Uh, you could don't scare me. It's me. Big brother. In the flesh. You're gonna be alright, Yuka. Oh. I'm sorry, but must have been so scared all by yourself. How did you get here? I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Thank God. Come on, Yuka, we should go. Can you stand? Uh-huh. Huh? I think he dropped something, Yuka. Is that a tape? I don't know. What is it? Where'd you get it? No idea. I've never seen it before. That's a bit ominous. But wait, it looks like... Huh. Yeah, no doubt about it. The label says Kibiki. It's the follow-up. Might be our ticket out of here. Hmm. Sure, I sure hope so. Let's say we go find out right now. Come, Yuka. Okay. Alright, what happened to, uh, whatchamacallit? <laughs> Yuka's tape. I, hmm. I see what you did there. <laughs> yeah, but you have... How about... Wait, hold up. Hold up. <laughs> I'm reading the chat right now. So, back to my... Back to what I was originally saying. You have something like Bleach where for some reason... Did editors get a hold of it? Yes. But for the most part, they really didn't have to do much because the writers already didn't know what the hell they were doing. <laughs> now, Bleach... Bleach is boring and stupid, but it's one of those... It's like a Michael Bay film, right? You watch it because you want to see the bullshit. Because nothing's cooler than the vocals of a, of a black singer and then fucking Aizen rolls up, Ichigo swings a blade at him, and he stops it with his finger. <laughs> And everyone goes, oh, shit. Yuka, can I have the tape you found? Okay. Did the filler season have have a filler season? Um, i am be honest, I haven't watched Bleach all the way to the end. I skimmed here and there. I remember the bounce. The bounce were, it was a filler season, but it was all right. It wasn't too bad. It just wasn't as as interesting as all the other shit that was going on. But it did have it did have a pretty good opening though. I won't lie about that. What is it? Opening number four? That's a good ass opening. Bleach has some pretty good music. Alright, here goes nothing. And One Piece One Piece is a rarity because they just kept letting the author do what he wanna do. Cause they were like, fuck it. <laughs> I don't know why. They gave him so much and now, now he's at a point where he has such a reputation where if a fucking editor comes in a room and goes, I want you to write this and tell me if he can beat Goku, the editor looks at him and be like, okay, I'll do that, but it has to be like a one-off special in the universe somewhere far off. He's like, because fuck you, I'm not making that. <laughs> it's like, someone else can do that. I'll continue my stories. <laughs> I can't just die. I can't lose hope. I can skip this, right? Yeah. Oh! Why'd the game let me skip it if I didn't see it before? What? Can I watch it again? My bad. <laughs> How far? Hold up, I got this. I got this, hold up. Hold up, we got this. No nothing happened. Look away. Look away. Everyone look away. why I don't give offers power the right for the anime. They don't know when to stop. <laughs> I mean... I believe the author of, uh, of One Piece, he just keeps writing because he wants to fill out his world, which is understandable, right? Because from what I... I don't know too much about One Piece. Currently, I am working on something, kind of a project, on One Piece. So, maybe one day... You'll hear all about it. But, um... From what I've heard... From what I've heard, One Piece... One Piece is... One Piece is special because even though it has a lot of shit going on, none of it... I'm not gonna say... None of it is a filler arc. Are there filler episodes? Yes, of course. But... For the most part, for as long as One Piece has been going, none of it has really been filler. Unlike Naruto, which had like two years of filler. It's all the same shit. Yeah, pretty much. You're not wrong about that. 
Can I have the tape you found? Okay. All right, here goes nothing. They find a place that has a problem, they fix it and fuck off. Yeah, that... I mean, it's all the same shit, but at, at the end of the day, I mean... Eh, it's whatever. Because, I mean, like... I'm not going to sing praises about, like, One Piece or anything like that, because there are some things in One Piece that just don't make sense to me. Um, but... At least... At least I can say that even though they do do most of the same stuff, and, I mean, every anime kind of does it, just look at fucking Fairy Tale. Um... Like, they still they still manage to build on more to that world as a whole, rather than just focusing on the characters and just saying, man, look at their power levels. So, like, at least it's giving more information about what's going on around the characters rather than just saying, rather than just saying, hey, man, did you know how powerful Goku is? So, like, One Piece is weird. One Piece is weird. It's a weird, like, fucking, I don't know, singularity point. <laughs> There's a way out. I'm going to tell you what it is right now. I need to form the Sachiko ritual, which never been done. How could you? How could you? Kibiki? 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 Uh, Kibiki? <laughs> the One Piece idea is vast as the ocean, but shallow as a puddle. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, no, there. Yeah, no, that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> well, I mean, like, if you were if you were to boil down every anime to its simplest point, you it's pretty much just you show up to a place with your gang, and then something bad happens, and you come and you fix it, and then you go off. Like, let let's be honest. It's pretty much what JoJo is. <laughs> Jo Jojo's just like, man, we're in a place, something bad happens, we fix it, people die. <laughs> Move on to the next one. I love Jojo, though. Why are you still taping? Hi, damn it, come on. Just go through the sliding door of the closet, back in the room. Huh. Okay, so this is the, is this the author? Nalho, okay. That is the story. Yeah, that's pretty much that pretty much is the story. Yeah. <laughs> it's the story until you find the one piece in which in which Luffy will finally find the one piece and then he'll just be like he'll be like, "Man, it's a golden straw hat. I guess the treasure is the friends I made along the way." <laughs> hey, I'm okay. It was a ceiling tile, but it's mess but it missed me. Satoshi, was wasn't that footage? Yeah. Definitely taken in this room. You beat me to it, yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure that's what the One Piece is. Fucking, you know, what's his name? Goldie Rogers sitting there going, Uh, my fortune is yours for the taking. You'll find everything that I own in One Piece. Guess what? I'm a pirate, therefore I didn't own shit. <laughs> it's the smell of decay. Based on clothes, I think it's... All right. Now I think I can skip this. What's wrong? Something further in. Either way, I should take a closer look. Let's see. Alright, here, take my hand. You're very kind. Where are we? It smells awful. We're in the murder dungeon. Is this it? A bathroom. There's a ladder. Where does it lead? Wait, Naomi. Don't do it. And then her dead body just falls down. Seems pretty flimsy. I don't think it would hold all of us. Yuko, once Naomi's up, you go in next. I'll go last. No the fuck you won't! I get it. Will you be alright down here by yourself? I'll be okay. You get your ass up there. No! Look, what if something suddenly attacks you while you're down here by yourself? I've seen your underwear plenty of times before. There's no reason for you to get all bashful about it. There is today. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure you probably like 
hissed yourself or something. Fine, have it your way. I'll calm down when I reach the top. That's stupid. Just shove her up there. Uh-huh. Also learning a lot about One Piece tonight. So I watched One Piece after they've killed the guy that turns into smoke. What? <laughs> Listen, I don't know much about One Piece, right? Like, I'll, I'll tell you, I know, I don't even know what happens between fucking from East Blue to Imperial Down, but I know bits and pieces and here and there, and at, at some point I will go back and watch all of One Piece, and I'll probably make some videos on that or something. But, like, <laughs> the guy that turns into smoke, you think his name was Alligator. Do you mean Crocodile? <laughs> you mean Crocodile who turns into sand? Because <laughs> smoke is just smoker or chaser if you're going for the four kids dub. I don't fucking remember. <laughs> See, I remember it because that was the big thing at the time back in Toonami. <laughs> it's like, oh man, time to do it for Alabasta. Alabasta is such a good name for a kingdom. It really is. I like saying it. <laughs> is this the girls' room? Why would there be a ladder leading to the girls' room? That's right. This is where Shinohara died. I can't take this anymore. I just can't. Seiko's angry with me. Alright, I'm gonna skip this. Because we read this already. Oh, you're safe. <laughs> was humans in seventh grade back in 2004. Back when, back when Toonami ended and they were like, hey, he's going to fight Aneru now, and then they never came back to it. Unless you watched it on like Adult Swim or something, I think. And then I think the dub went all the way to Imperial Down. I'm not sure. Going to get out of the school no matter what it takes. Big brother, I found something. Hmm? Here. Another tape, huh? Camera broke broke on the last one, though, so I don't think we can watch it. Oh, but we should st we should still take it with us. Nice find, Yuka. Didn't have cable to watch it on 4K. <laughs> WB. I love that fucking frog. He goes, hubba dubba WB. <laughs> At any rate, if we know how to get out of here. Our first priority, uh, priority. Our first priority at this point should be the reconvening with Shinozaki. All right. Still have your paper doll scrap? Yep, got it right here. Have mine too. Good job hanging on to it. Don't lose it now, okay? Oh yeah, I've got my. Oh, now she's gonna start crying about it. <laughs> I can't skip any of this. This won't let me skip it because this is new. But somehow they let me skip the other stuff. <laughs> Definitely need to worry about it. I'll be with you until the bitter end. I will too. Eh? I'll stay with Big Brother and with you. Way to be a third wheel, Yuka. Sorry. God, I'm hopeless. Why does my mind always go to the worst case scenario? You don't need to worry about me. It comes down to it. We should leave here with, uh, with Satoshi. No. Okay, then. I'm gonna go find my student ID. It's my problem, after all. I do miss watching no Toe on... <laughs> Oh, an antenna. Dude, I remember watching it, like, what was it, every Thursday night or Friday night? And then my family would make fun of me. They're like, you're just watching a fucking loser in a jumpsuit. Sitting there saying, believe it all the time. And I'm like, he doesn't say believe it that much. Come on, guys. It's not that serious. Duke wants the real Naomi. Keep making it weird. Aw. Alright, you know what I have to do right now? Is there a... There's no save point near me right now. Alright, so what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do that. I... I'm gonna head to the bathroom real quick. Because I have to use the laboratory. So, I will be right back. Where the hell is the button?
It is getting fucking... Oop. My bad, I forgot. Put the audio back on. It is getting... Wow, that's loud. <laughs> Video game. <laughs> it is getting... Kind of warm in this room. Is he making the bathroom? <laughs> No, I'm fine. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. Um. Shit. Alright. He said use a bucket. Little kid brain didn't understand the story, but vividly remembered the first nine tail scene. Yeah, my man Naruto said, hey, you gonna live in here start paying rent? <laughs> Give me some power. Um. One of the things I have to make fun about One Piece, though, is that... <laughs> Listen, I like Ace. Ace is cool. He's cool, man, right? We can all agree he's pretty cool. But Ace is a dumbass! <laughs> you know when people are like, Oh man, I feel bad for him, for what happened to him. And then you just go. And you go, let's be honest, he could have avoided that tragedy. He really could have. <laughs> he, um... <laughs> what happened was that, you know, the thing happens, Whitebeard gets get. And then, what, what's the name of the Admiral? He fucking, he just goes, like, Whitebeard goes, go, my son, go live. And then as everyone's getting on the boat, ready to leave, the Admiral just shows up and he goes, yo, Whitebeard's a bitch. And then Ace turns around, and he says, what was that? <laughs> it's like, let, let him, let him, <laughs> let him live, Ace. It's fine. Where the hell am I supposed to go? They're like, Ace, it's fine. Like, you have Marco pulling Ace back. He's like, Ace, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Come on, man. And Ace's like, nah, 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 nah. Ace is like, nah, I can't. <laughs> like, the Admiral just goes, yo, Whitebeard's a bitch. <laughs> I just find that super funny. And it's like, that, that tragedy could have been avoided super easily all you had to do was get on the boat and leave that's all you had to do <laughs> all right so what the hell where the hell am i supposed to be going there was a room that opened up well it didn't open up but there was a room with um it showed the note it was what was it like the like the chemistry room or something Is this the room? I feel like this is the room that I'm supposed to be going into. Well, of course I'm supposed to go into that at some point. It's a big boss door, but... But I mean, like, what the hell? Where the hell am I actually supposed to go? There's, no, <laughs> there's nothing I can do. Back to the other guys. Alright, so these guys, I can head back down. Over here. See where this gets me. We can head back into the um the second building, I think, right? Let's see. I know the second building's the other way, but I wanna check this out. Did I come this way at all? No, I did that's a dead body over there. There's an empty pedestal. Alright. Huh. I'm gonna keep that for now. I feel like I should have it with me. Aww. Poor Mayu. There's remains of a female student. She's dead. She's super dead. She ain't coming back. She ain't gonna be in rush hour three. Hmm. All right. That's for uh, that's for the other guys, right? I think it is. Is that... 
I can't get the layout in my head. Was it for these guys or was it for someone else? Was it for, well, not someone else, was it for the other guys? These guys, those guys, this guys, whoever. Was this hallway here before? Am I crazy? I think I'm losing my mind. I think my sanity's going slowly. That hallway was there before. All right, here it is. Okay, just gonna save that. The room is chilly. <laughs> Student ID tag laying on the ground. Did I, did I take it? Naomi student ID. What? I just picked up an ID tag. All right. <laughs> Got dead children in your room. It's spooky. It's in there about to go ghost like Danny Phantom. All right, what's in the blood room? Doors locked. This leads to the third floor. Or is this the second floor? I think this is the third floor. Yeah, this is the third floor. All right, cool. There's a room here. Let me read this. Today, Spear Breaker uh, crush, crushed him. What the fuck is that word? Crushed him. One painted red, one painted green. All right. There's a pentagram there. Time to head back downstairs. Head down this hallway. Because uh, I didn't check this yet, did I? I don't think I did. Nope, just pentagrams and dead bodies. Alright, well... I mean... Eh. I guess I'm waiting for these guys to go find a switch or something. Because I don't think I can go anywhere else with, uh... With Satoshi and Yuka in them right now, at least. This is... Why am I drawing a blank here? <laughs> Some reason, I, for some reason, I just don't know. I just don't know what the hell I'm doing. Don't get too close to Madoka, <laughs> to Moshida. <laughs> Damn, she's really on some. She really on some crazy stuff. Maybe I do gotta use the thing on the pedestal. I would rather use them both at the same time, though. Was there not a nope? All right, I'll just throw it on the pedestal then. Maybe it'll affect something. Did it. I did it. I saved the world. So I'm going to try heading to the second building. Because maybe... Because maybe now, since we have Yuka with us, we can run into, uh, what's his name? Glasses Boy. Because I didn't, I didn't see him die. He must be alive, right? And that piano ghost still has a lot of questions to answer for me. It's nothing over here. Up here we go. There's a dead body. Is the principal office open? I highly doubt it. I think I need like a key for it or something. Okay, what was that about? It's locked. Good. Keep it locked. Keep it safe. Keep it secret. I don't want to have anything to do with that. Less for me to do, the better. Is there something I'm in? Well, obviously there's something I'm missing, but... Student ID, ID tag on the floor. Small scraps of fabric stuck in the pen and buck. Suggests it's forcefully removed. Huh. And the art room's locked up. Let's see. Where the hell is dead body? Skeletal remains. This 
man on this guitar is going crazy. Hey, Piano Ghost, how's it going? Stop with the fucking lightning. I will, I will figure out the secret to said Piano Ghost. Huh. Since I didn't run here earlier, this didn't fall off the wall. Oh, there it goes. All right. These doors, I'm pretty sure, are still locked. I don't think there's anything in them. I think they're just here for decoration. Yep, that's fine. Damn it. So right now, we still have to look for these scraps of paper. And fucking... Oh, that's knocked down because for some reason... For some reason, the three of us can't pull this up. It's a cabinet. You see that? It's terrible. It's scary. It might kill me. You know, cabinets are like 99.9% .9 of all children death. What happens is that the child goes to open said cabinet and or wardrobe or dresser and they get whisked away to Narnia. Hey Ronnie, how's it hanging? They get whisked away to Narnia in which... You know, the Lion Witch in a Wardrobe comes and just gets the kids. And that's that's why cabinets are the most deadliest thing known to humankind. You see a cabinet? Don't touch it. Cabinet in your way? Don't pick it up. Where the hell? These are all locked. Well, affixed to the wall. I guess I just gotta switch to, um... Ayumi and fucking... Uh, what's his name? Kishinuma. I don't... I don't think there's anything I can do right now with Shishido and them. Well, Shishido. Satoshi. I'll give another go-around of the... of the first building, but after that, I'll just switch it up. Put the pedestal down on the thing. All right. We activated that. That activated a doorway. Hmm. This is locked. Was divided into two souls, one painted red, one painted green. Pots of trespassers shall be expelled. Right. This is just... Huh? What the, is that blood? Oh, hey there! Oh, you're just... Okay, you're just gonna... Hmm. We're just gonna pretend. We're just gonna pretend that's normal, and that's supposed to happen. Ah! Uh. Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> Don't die. Yeah, that's just not... Let me, let me, let me plot out my escape route, right? I pick up this paper, I go here. I can't walk across these. Wait, can I? Oh, I can. So maybe I can juke them? Because I definitely can't squeeze past there, and this is just a one, a one space. Alright. Does the heater do anything? Old-fashioned space heater. Unfortunately, it's full of ash. It's full of ash, catch him. Four out of five, keep key, I'm sorry. My readings were far too broad and my my inter my inter wow. Interpretations <laughs> of them overly naive. Yeah, but the key but the key. You told me there's a fucking you told me the door's locked. <laughs> this place is not a simple plant. Uh, it's not a simple plane of spirits. I previously summarized it to be. If we don't get out of here ASAP, we'll be in real danger. I think. What the hell? I'm not even. Gonna, I'm not even gonna try to decipher that. Doing so will. All right. I intend to continue my investigation until more reliable method is found. Until then, please be safe. I want to see you again, Kibiki. More than anything, I want to feel you stroke my hair. 
There's so much blood on these pages. Start to read. Okay. No, oh, that's in 1A. Skeleton man. The skeleton sitting in a chair. He already he already let the bean he already spilled the beans. I'm gonna start checking for a fucking key now. Let me guess the monster has the key. He just moved. You're a jackass. Hey. Hmm. It's in that cabinet over there, isn't it? The atomical model. Was it standing there when we came in? Ah, oh, shut up. What's your problem? How many times do I have to tell you? Don't joke around like that. God. Why do you insist on scaring me every turn? Do you get a good laugh out of it? Well, I'm not trying to scare you, Shinozaki. I'm seriously think. Don't even say it. Don't even think it. I hate you. Shinozaki. I hate you. Oh, fuck. The damn thing just tried to grab Shinozaki's neck. What? Run is trying to kill us. Of course it's trying to kill you. Get me. Completely empty. Son of a bitch. Completely empty. Damn it. Oh, he's here too. Damn it! Uh, save me, evil man. Is he... What the hell? Is he... Is he reacting to my movements? What's going on? I'm trying to get a good look at him. You know, for someone who's really menacing, you're super slow and not scary at all. But you... You're terrifying. <laughs> Maybe I can get... I, I want him to kill him. You come here and save me. You come murder him. You kill him. No! Get, what are you doing? You. Come come murder. Come kill him. Now. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's not gonna help you. Let's go, you bastard. I knew it. One touch would be over. I try to, I try to juke him, but my fu I fucked up on the keyboard. Shinozaki, god damn it! There's like a million pieces of wood in here. You can just pick up and smack, smack him down the hole. Stop it! Stop it, please. Just leave me. Run. Get out of here. Shinozaki, don't worry gonna save you. You're just gonna die? Look at you. You're bleeding badly. This is order from your class rep. Leave me. Or just shut it. Don't give me that crap. I'm not Satoshi. But I'm gonna protect you anyways. Damn it. This keeps up. I'm a goner. It's gotta be some way. Hey, murderer. Come here. <laughs> I know you say he's not gonna help me, but... Oh, shit. So what, he's chasing me now? Hmm. This thing doesn't work. A match is on the ground next to it. Take him. Oh. Well, thank you. Time to set your ass on fire. Burn, bitch. Ah, oh, fuck. What are you doing? You just... Just enjoying it? Can I not set him on fire with the... The match! Damn it! He's wearing a cloth! Come on, man, he's wearing cloth. You can just you can just burn him. It'll be easy. Burn him at the stake. I can't interact with that. Is there any alcohol in here that I can just make a mock a uh, fucking makeshift Molotov and throw it at him? Huh. Gas burner. Try this. Wait, try that. Oh, take this. My bad. <laughs> I thought it said try this. Yeah, I got stuck. Yeah, there's no way. <laughs> I got stuck. I thought I was going down the other pathway. <laughs> yeah, that one was my fault. 
I definitely got stuck in that corner over there. Hey man, don't worry, it's fine. It's fine. That's why you save beforehand. I'm not used I'm not used to using the keyboard and mouse. I don't play games this way. If I had controller support, it would be a little bit easier for me. I know this game's not that crazy to control, but I'm not used to, you know. But it's fine though. You see? All you gotta do. Now you need to do it again. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All that matters is that I figured it out. Right? Alright. <laughs> we got it. That guy's just stuck. Okay, well, bye. <laughs> he just got stuck. <laughs> Okay, well, mm, yep. That solves our problem. <laughs> right then and there. Alright. Now, now it's time to get to class 1A. That was goofy. That was really fucking... That was just... That was just stupid. All you need to do is get away. <laughs> get captured again. Oh, man. Um, it's this way, right? Okay, it's this way. Damn. Where the hell? Did the... Am I crazy? Am I... I'm going crazy. What the hell is wrong with me? Go back inside the room. <laughs> what do you mean go back inside the room? Are you crazy? <laughs> go back inside the room. I'm having a moment here. I'm having like a real moment right now, to be honest. <laughs> I'm just forgetting where the hell where the hell to go. It's this way. It's just across here. I'm not going back in that room. You're crazy. That's that's murder. Oh wait, this is one A. There we go. Oh. Down here. Something's definitely going to attack me when I grab that paper. If you did burn the thing, it would burn you alive. Really? See, I just assumed that he'd be like, take this, and and it would just kill, it would kill, uh, Ayumi instead. Alright, these papers. Just looking at them makes my head throb. It's like they're somehow filled with emotion, like Naho's feelings have been projected onto them. And now I'm going to be possessed. Naho. Hmm. Okay. And then we're just fine and dandy. Alright, well. Shit. So what was the point of that room? <laughs> what was the point of that room? We went in there. Oh wait, yeah, we got the paper. My bad. I completely forgot about the paper already. I'm like, what did we obtain through that? So now, I'm assuming that I have to go and do something. I can't head to the second building with these guys, right? Yeah, because that, that's off. Hmm. This is the entranceway. Nothing happens in the entranceway ever. Nothing ever happens in the entranceway except for that one time when I, when I escaped. <laughs> This leads to this leads to cutscene area. Did she burn something? Did she burn something? No, I didn't burn anything in that room. Was I supposed to burn something in that room? Water store, protective charms. What am I carrying with me? Are you talking about the scrap of paper? Yeah, yeah, are you talking about the ID? Because that was earlier. <laughs> that was earlier when I fucked up and she just went homicidal. 
That was hilarious, though. That That is definitely a highlight <laughs> for me. She just goes, huh, you whore. And I'm like, what? <laughs> uh, we should be okay then. <laughs> I hope so, right? All right, so I can't mess with this no more, right? This is done, right? It's in place, it won't turn, okay. That's done. Dying is okay. I don't... I don't think we... We have all the pieces of paper for them. I don't think we can do anything with Satoshi or them until we find a way to open that pathway, right? I think Satoshi and Gang just need to take a back seat, and I just have to explore with, with um with these guys. The only problem is that, that I'm completely incompetent sometimes. You know. And to be honest, <laughs> I'm slightly on autopilot, so I don't even remember the layout of this fucking place for the most part. So I'm literally just wandering around the school. I'm magoobering my way through every situation I possibly can. That's still locked up. Read this. Yeah, it's just... It's just him talking about the ritual and stuff. And how he shall be known throughout the... A oh. I didn't realize the girl was dead... <laughs> I didn't realize girl with dead fish eyes had a mentor. Keep you a choice of words, an article suggests he came here on his own volition. Now made it sound the same way for her, too. There's that, f there's that first blue ghost we spoke with. Okay. The music is still great. <laughs> yeah. With the little girl, Yuki. Alright. Flood Sachi. Okay. The whole reason we're being, we're being put through all this hell is because we angered Sachiko. If only I paid more attention to Naho's blog injury. We only performed the charm successfully. I just... I just thought that we could be friends forever. And then she walks off in the corner and goes, You whore. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just like such a 180 turn. I'll never forget that. She's like, I just want us all to be friends. And then the next time she's there, she's like, You fucking... You slut. <laughs> I was like, what? The hell kind of charm wrist anyways is all time dealing with this stuff. I never... I never thought the occult was actually real. That's why I kept fucking with it. <laughs> God, you're supposed to be my friend. I'm so sorry, everyone. Suzumono Shinohara. It's all my fault. You're all dead because of me. Shinozaki. I love you. He just merges into her body. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> it's all your fault. He's like, you know what, Shinazaki? It is all your fault. You know, when your friend comes over and they're like, why, why don't we just say Bloody Mary into the fucking mirror three times? And I just look at them and I go, wow, no, that's not happening. Are you crazy? Like, I don't believe in ghosts, but there's always the possibility, right? So you might as well not anger them. Do everything in your best ability not to. Is this? I thought that was like a passageway or something. What did you think was gonna happen? <laughs> Play some ooky, ooky, spooky shit. Yeah, this is broken. I completely forgot about this passageway, by the way. Completely forgot about it. <laughs> All right. Is there? She's still hanging in this bathroom? You haven't lived if you haven't done Bloody Mary. Oh, trust me. You have lived if you haven't done Bloody Mary. Because if you did, you'd be dead. <laughs> trust me, it will happen one day. I've seen too much shit. I've seen too many of dead bodies. This is messed up. We can't. We can't go down there. I've seen it go wrong too many times. I'm not taking that chance. I 
have walked into abandoned houses before, though. <laughs> Your likelihood of getting of getting stabbed is higher to do that instead of just doing Bloody Mary. It's like you walk in an abandoned house, maybe a hobo will stab me with a syringe. You get a Ouija board? During a storm and a huge power outage? Get the fuck out of here. You know what? Alright, so one time at my job, because I do overnight security, we have this electric room where all the circuit breakers and stuff are at. And sometimes you can just sneak away in there and just play your switch and nobody will notice, notice a damn thing. So, you know, it's like, it's like middle of the night. I sneak away because I'm gonna go play me some fucking Pokemon or some shit, right? <laughs> already went there. Yeah, I know I already went here. I don't know what I'm doing. There's nothing there. Thanks for telling me, though. Thanks for at least telling me, though. Um... I bet. <laughs> I'm not trying this fucking charm. The people I would try it with would be so incompetent. They goof around too much. I don't... Damn, I really just don't know what the hell I'm doing. Can I have a... <laughs> Can I have a hint? Can someone just give me a quick hint? Point me in the right direction? Cause I really I really don't know what I'm doing, honestly. But yeah. Went into the went into the electric room, started playing my switch. Now every night, the breakers kind of reset themselves. So you know, the most you'll get is like a a very loud startling noise. But once you get used to that, it doesn't startle you anymore. So it was so it's time for the breaker like reset itself. It does it like at random intervals uh, sometimes. It's not like a scheduled thing. And then when it went to reset itself, I was the only one in the room, right? You know, big room, wide, had the lights on and everything. And it makes a loud noise. The, the breaker like did a hard reset. It made the loudest noise possible. And not only when it was resetting itself it did that it also just turned off all the lights in the area so it was just a loud bang and everything went dark and i just had like a mini heart attack i was like what the hell is yuka okay yeah she's fine she's with us yuka's fine <laughs> so i just went what the hell eh, let me let me go I'm gonna go over there. I'm proud of the lights. Yeah, the lights just went off. And like the door to the electric room is like a heavy duty door, right? Like a big ass metal door. So if you wanna run to that door, you gotta like really push it. And for like a good five seconds, it just went pitch black. And I had like the biggest heart attack ever. And it also sucks because like, you know, there's not that many people around in the area at night, so the closest person to me would be like five minutes away. Also, we have those stupid ass children rides that keep repeating the same phrases and shit like every five minutes. And one of them is like a children's bus. And when it repeats its sound, it's just a bunch of children laughing. So it's terrible as shit. He hears all the scary shit. Yeah, trust me, I hear a lot of scary shit at nighttime. It's a big area and it's only around about like three to four of us there at night and it just sucks because one of the one of the machines one of the machines that just repeats its its sounds is just children's laughter so it really sucks and then there's another one that's batman and robin and every fucking five minutes it'll go to the batmobile <laughs> and then there's another one that's pink panther and it'll just repeat the sound of a fucking police siren so that kind of spooks me out a little bit <laughs> some spooky shit at night man all right so real talk actual real talk here because i i honestly do need some help can i have a hint as to where the hell i'm supposed to go does anybody know right off the top of their head our store covered in detective charms because i i am out of ideas <laughs> children's lap yeah exactly don't remember where to go. Shit. I really don't want to look up a guide. But I don't want to be here for like a whole hour. 
you know? Maybe, maybe one of you guys can do me a quick solid. Do me like a real solid. Maybe you can look up a guide so I don't spoil myself. And just go, okay, so maybe head this way. Is there really nothing in here? Like, nothing in the cabinet? How about we ask Yuki? How about we ask Yuki? What the hell are you talking about? You don't know what to look up. Uh, We're in Corpse, Par Corpse Party 1, Chapter 5. Corpse Party Original, Chapter 5, I guess. I don't know. What do you mean, Axe Yuki? Yuki disappeared on us, didn't she? Yuki's not here no more. We just picked up all the scraps of paper. Right? We have a we have a tape, but they said that the um They said that the that the camera was was broken. Right? Camcorder stuck to the table, but try as you might, you can't seem to remove it. I'm not trying to remove it, I'm trying to use it. Just ask her where to go. Where the hell is Yuki? What are you talking about? What? Where's Yuki? What happened right before this? Um, I picked up the fifth scrap of paper in room 1A. That's the last thing I did, and then... And then we read that, and then nothing happened after that. Right. I picked up all her notes. I'm I'm confused. Is that is that something that's like is that like in a remake or something that you can ask Yuki where to go? Because I don't know what the hell you're on about. Like the only time we seen Yuki is when we got back here and she said, Best of luck, here's a fucking here's a Here's a statue, give it to uh, Satoshi and them. Satoshi and company. Let me see. There's gotta be like a... Like, I know I'm looking for a switch or something, probably, to, um... for like a switch because they need to walk across some area but I don't I really don't know where, where the hell I'm going what I'm doing we got burned up yeah <clears throat> the mannequin almost got us but after that we got, that was, that's where we got page four from, right, for the notebook. And then after that, we head to 1A and got page five out of five. And then that was, that was it, really. Is this a, is it like Zelda? Do I take a bomb? Do I, do I blow it up, blow up that wall? That's right, man. If you gotta, if you gotta peace out, that's fine. I'll be here, running in circles. I'm just, I'm just really confused. Okay, so. Alright, first of all, me. Let me run in this room so I don't hurt myself. So the music doesn't kill me. I need, I need some... Some thinking time. <laughs> Need to hear my own thoughts a little bit. 
See, I thought maybe we can, like, since this is 1A, maybe there will still be a message written here, and they'll look at it or something, but... Hmm. It's nothing. It's nothing there. Found where you think you are. All right, so lay it on me. What we got? <coughs> Doors affixed to the wall. Nothing in the bathroom. All right. Right now, the last things that I can remember that we did is that... Is that we got the fifth paper for Naho's notebook, and... And, uh, Yuka gave us another... Another DVD. Have very limited course part knowledge. Me too, man. Mine is super limited. Some may say it's non-existent. There's a notebook inside the cabinet. Alright. Safety of the confined students. Cannot be guaranteed. Apologies for those who have already been confined. I pray for you. Take the west. Alright, hold up. Head back up west path. The candle and take the open doorway all the way to the west stairway up to the third floor. Okay. Can you watch the TV? No, I can't watch the TV. Is that with, um... The candle where you saw the blood on the window. Okay, cool. I think they're there right now, actually. So it should be pretty quick. Shwoop. So this one. All right. Do I got to look at it again? All right. So we're here. Am I supposed to... Wants to go up here. Up to the third floor. All right. Well, see. Well, that's just. Well, thanks for your help, everybody. That that was good. I feel like a fucking idiot. I feel like a. I feel like a goddamn idiot. God damn it. I sat here, ran around the school building, but just didn't go into one room. What the hell? <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Hey, guys, how's it going? You want me to hand you your student ID since we're right here? No? Okay. <laughs> damn. I hate myself. Alright. Now, ho. Well, if it is an Ayumi, didn't you go crazy before you died or something, Naho? If it is Ayumi Shinazaki, how are you holding up? I'd like to share with you some information I've gathered. <laughs> Burn that fucking ID again. Oh my god. That was, I was, that's what I was gonna tell you, I swear. Uh, if you get Lewis again, please do, because, fuck, man. Because I want to, I want to finish this tonight so we can continue with Phoenix Wright. That rhymed. That was hard bars. So, Sachiko was a perpetrator. I had no idea. Very interesting indeed. Thank you for approving, thank you for providing me with this valuable data. However, you only solved half the mystery. You have yet to determine who exactly Sachiko is. There's still a lot, there's still a lot of ground left to cover before we learned all there is to know about this school. At any rate, there's someone I, uh, what? There's someone I need to find, if you please excuse me. I'm not done talking to you yet, but I've lost interest in what you have to say. So, bitch, I'm done with you. Bye. <laughs> Who was the boy in the staff room? I wonder. 
Was he a classmate of yours? A brother, perhaps? There's a bond of love between you. It's what keeps you going. I would enjoy it so, if more people like that came around for me to watch. It's quite entertaining. Moan? I'm sorry, she moaned? What? <laughs> I'm disappointed in you. Now, why would that be? Weren't you a variable fa variable? Yeah, that, that's the word, variable fan- what, what? Does that make sense? <laughs> it's because of this. <laughs> oh, you just- you just angered the ghost. You just pissed her off. Oh no. Oh no. What is this such go in the in the ever after crap? What are the ruins of the Shin- uh, <laughs> What are the ruins of the Shinozaki estate? Proper observance and reversal procedures for Sachiko's and Ozaki curse. Sachiko in the after ever. In the after ever. After ever. And ever after. <laughs> uh, procedures for proper observance. The spell trigger is the phrase Sachiko, we beg of you. It must be chanted once for each participant, then one additional time for Sachiko. Following this, the proxy doll is to be torn apart. Should the proxy doll recover from the ruins of the old from the ruins of the old Shinozaki estate be unavailable. A printed famous, uh, I don't even know the word. I'm not even going to try. Whatever. A decoy will suffice. The proper, for the purpose of this ritual. If everything is performed as in, indicated, the spirits will pass by harmlessly, and nothing of note should occur. If any part of this ritual is performed incorrectly, however, then Sachiko herself will descend upon uh, a, a viable spirit medium in the vicinity. And all presents will be affected with her curse and spirited away into the sacred ground. Procedures for reversal. If you angered Sanchiko, you may atone by redoing the ritual properly, but in reverse. First, produce your... <clears throat> produce your remnant of the proxy doll. You intentionally put the wrong directions on your blog. You wanted the ritual to fail. Did you do it for him, your beloved? Your mentor, Mr. Kibiki? Were you trying to make sure he... Uh, he had a large sample size to study for his article. What the hell is so funny? You think you're so smart, huh? Well, you're not. <laughs> so go fish. I, I had I had a moment. I thought she said so go to fish. I was like, what? <laughs> go fish. The hell does that mean? She's saying it's a lie. Anyone who takes stuff posted on the net and swallows. Swallows it wholesale is a fucking dumbass. A total. I'm not saying that word. I'm not saying it. Nope. Nope. I get. I get canceled real quick. <laughs> just like the crim. Just like the special version of the Crimson Chin. He got canceled. Don't call him. You're shaking. You can't. <clears throat> you can't tell me you don't have the slightest. And I'll follow. Man, I'm good. I'm fine. I'd rather not be persecuted and hung. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can tell me you didn't have the slightest inkling that it never crossed your mind something like this might happen. How many people did you did your little whim send? Wow. How many people did your little whim to a slow, painful death? Wait, what? How many people did your little whim send to a slow and painful death? Did the one who spread Sasha goes cross across the across? Wow. Curse across the entire country. <laughs> Don't you think I know that? But Kibiki, my dear Kibiki, smiles at me when I do right by him. Oh, Kibiki, my sweet, succulent mentor. What the fuck? I would do anything for you. Anything at all. But you occult freaks. You can all go rot in a corner for all I care. You're a horrible person. Horrible. God, how could you? Says the person who just... <laughs> who just burns and rips up someone's lifeline. It's my duty to protect my dear mentor's job. And I won't let anyone get in my way. Well, congrats. He's dead now because of you. Now, ho, you died here. And? Do you remember what you are thinking when you died? What you were looking at? I don't know, actually. That's the one moment I, I just can't recall. In fact, no matter how much I try, it won't come to me. Your selfish... Your selfish egotism costs you the person you love the most. What? You really don't remember, do you? Your very last actions as a human being after you lost all hope. But before you died, you weren't swallowed by the school. Probably because of your abilities. 
but you did succumb to the darkening. And that's not good. Maybe you shouldn't piss off the ghost. Do you get it now? You killed him. You killed the man you loved. You killed Mr. Kibiki. You took his life with your own bare hands. Maybe you shouldn't. Maybe you shouldn't piss off the ghost. Mmm. That, uh... Uh-huh. Yep. That, that is... Um, that's when you just get up and you leave. That's when you just say no. You say, no, I'm fine. I'm okay. Thank you very much. Oh. Give me a break. Is this some kind of horror movie or something? He's like, I'm so over this shit. You okay? Let me merge into your body. We become stronger. Baby statue. For some reason, when I read that, I just thought about Baby Shark and I wanted to, like, kill myself. <laughs> Fucking, oh, God. You know what's the worst thing ever? When you're surrounded by children and they want to listen to the fucking trap remix of Baby Shark. Hey you, take take the thing, take take the thing. Well, you killed her again. So now, baby statue. Wait, a statue shaped like an unborn baby in the womb, covered in the thin film of ectoplasmic residue. Ew! What the hell? Ugh. <laughs> if I want to see any of that, I just I just go play PT if I had it. But you know, man, I'm so mad that I fucking deleted that shit off my PlayStation. Damn it. PT was great. It was kind of stupid that I had to fucking say Jareth into the microphone though. Bro, what? <laughs> Yeah, man, if I, it was before they took it off the PlayStation Store. I, I went like, well, I beat it. Time to delete it. Because nobody thought that Konami would go that anal retentive about it. You know what I mean? It was like two gram. Yeah. Fucking, oh, man. Just... PT, the best of times and the worst of times. It was so good. I just remember, I just remember playing it, and then I said, Okay, everybody, shut up. I figured out what we had to do. And they said, what? And then I didn't even explain it to them. I just picked up the microphone. I said, Jareth, Jareth, Jareth. And they're like, what is good? They looked at me, they're like, what the fuck is wrong with you? I'm like, shut up. Oh, I thought maybe the, thought maybe the thing would um. Wait. Do I think it will be on the PS5? Wait, what? what? The hell do you mean? Are they making like? Well, of course they probably are going to end up making a new Quartz Party, but are they making like a, like a new new one? Or you mean like a re-release or something? All right. <clears throat> We have the baby statue. I'm trying to think if there's any, like, doors for us. Never seen nobody finish it. Really? When it first came out, like, I'm gonna be honest, it's kind of hard to finish that game unless you had a guide. Right? Because who the fuck... Who in the right mind just said, you know what? You gotta take your microphone out and fucking... and just yell Jareth into the microphone. Like, there's multiple ways to beat that game. Like, there were some things that I... Like, I remember walking through it over and over, and I said, wait a minute, we can zoom into things, right? Why don't we just look through the door crack? And they said, why would you do that? And I said, well, why wouldn't you? It's the only thing you can do. Back in this room. Come and knock on our door. We'll be waiting for you. Three is company, too. Alright. Um, 
So we have the baby statue. I thought maybe we can hand it to, uh, whatchamacallit, you know. To, uh, the guys. Actually, maybe I gotta head over here. Maybe I gotta head specifically over here to trigger a cutscene or something. Not over here, my bad. I'm thinking downstairs. Uh... <laughs> we're, not, we're not Japanese, so we don't get corpse party. Damn. Oh yeah, so, apparently... Remember when we had that... Well, most of you weren't here for that. Uh, today's your first night. But, uh... But Shark will remember. We had that chat when we talked about the, uh, the, um, the leaks that happened with Capcom and stuff, right? So, after some ample time has passed, I have, I have broken down, and I, especially after the Game Awards, I don't want to get into it, I don't want to talk about the Game Awards, but especially after the Game Awards, I was kind of a little disappointed. So I needed some happiness. And I finally said, okay, even though it sucks, I think enough time has passed where I can just look up and see what was leaked. Because, you know, it, it, it super sucks, but it's like, but I just, I just needed something. I needed some sort of announcement to like, wash out the nasty taste of the Game Awards out of my mouth. And then, so I looked at it. And now I'm at an impasse, right? Because apparently on there, we're getting now. It's not nothing new, right? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit here and talk about the whole leak, but <clears throat> do you want to talk about it? Because Mark McGuire won't give me. It. <laughs> um, it's not nothing new because back in like I'm gonna say I think it was like 2015 or something. Like at Tokyo Game Show, it was announced that they were gonna try and due to localization for the Phoenix Wright games. But now, we have... Not not a hard confirm, but what the hell am I doing? Can I have another hint, please? We have the baby statue now, and I don't... Let me see. Is it some... Let me head back upstairs. Check it out. Let me just do that real quick. Upstairs is the other way. But... Sorry, I had, I had like a... I had like a burp there, excuse me. Um... But there was... So I read it, and apparently they plan on releasing some of the Phoenix Wright games and stuff like that, and... <clears throat> first of all, I'm super excited for that, but since I wasn't going to look at it beforehand, I was just going to... What I was planning to do is, once we finish Phoenix Wright, is maybe, like, see if we can go and play the other games, but now, since there's a possibility, I'm not going to say everything's set in stone, because anything can change in any point, at any moment. But, um... Now... They have, they have some sort of plans of releasing them, like some sort of time frame that we have now. Should I just, like when, when we finish the Phoenix Wright stuff, like the third game in the trilogy, should I just wait for the re-release so it can just look better and stuff? Or should I just play the games that are already out? Because I really want, like, I want to continue Phoenix Wright because I just want to do it all because I like it a lot. So damn hype for more Phoenix Wright, yeah, I know. But, um, <laughs> but I don't know if I should just wait for the re-release and, you know, play some other stuff in, in that time span because I, I don't know how long it will take for me to, to beat the trilogy, but... We're like, we're making good time, it seems. Can I not, can I not just toss it over to him? Like, hey, buddy. Oh, there we go. All right, so I have to do it with them, though. Okay, what the fuck? Well, there's nobody but more Shigi. It was beyond saving at this point, I think. But why? Releasing, like, Apollo Justice, because you should play the next, if you're able to. I mean... I'm just saying, like, because isn't Apollo Justice on... Like, I don't know too much about it, but that's a 3DS game, right? Or is that a DS game? I don't know. 
it's mainly just like they're they're all just visual novels, but it's mainly just like you know there might be like an extra chapter or like a fucking or you know better visuals and stuff like that. So if you're if you're okay with like 3DS gameplay of it, if I can get 3DS gameplay of it or whatever, you know, it depends. It depends on what you guys want, really. I wish everyone would stop dying so easily. Class Rep. Guess the only one left is Miss Yui, huh? God, how, how can you be so matter-of-fact about it? It's on the DS? Oh, really? Hmm. Sorry. I think it goes without saying that none of your friends who died here will want us to join them. We all want to get out of here, so let's just cling to the desire and keep moving forward. Kept, keep moving forward. You know the way out, so even when things a little... <clears throat> you know what I gotta do? I gotta take a drink of my water. I am dying here. We know the way out, so even with... See? My voice is less raspier now. So even with things a little bleaker now, there's still that hope for us. We're almost there. All we have to do is find Miss Yui, and then we can finally escape this living hell. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I almost forgot. Nak uh, Naomi, I have something of yours. Oh, my student ID. And this, too. Hand over the baby statue. Sorry I didn't get the ID back to you sooner. You must have been freaking out about it if you knew the... If you knew the way out, well, believe me, I was. Well, then don't go losing that scrap again, okay? Thank you so much. I have no idea what a relief this, it is to have this back. Shinazaki, nice job finding that. I can't even tell you how much of a load is off my mind. No problem at all. Fucking whore. <laughs> oh, but check this out. I took another look at these pages after we had a little talk with Naho. And all the blood stains have vanished. You can read every word clear as day now. Kibiki, I'm sorry. My readings were far broad and my interpretations of them overly naive. This place is not simple playing of spirits. I previously summarized it to be. If we don't get out of here ASAP, we will be in real danger. I thought we'd be able to get back easily, though the way out strange uh, strategy I detailed. But the child spirits are bound here in a very peculiar manner. I won't be quite. It won't be so quite simple to achieve. Doing so will, will mean appeasing the malicious spirits that dwell here to unlock the gate that cuts through the plan planier, planier void. What? Planier void. Back to the world we know. Using this technology before fulfilling this condition could be unimaginably dangerous. There's no telling what might happen. Does that mean? Yep. This planier void that separates heavenly host and the real world was created by Yuki and the others, and it's totally surrounding us. So if we did this reverse Sashiko charm thing right now, we still wouldn't be able to get back. It would block our way. So we really do have to get Sachiko to repent and appease the other <clears throat> and appease the other children's spirits in order to get home. Yeah, let's give it our best shot. We're almost there, right? Oh shit. What is this rave music? <laughs> This is this is just Sonic music. This is Sonic Mania music. <laughs> you can play this in fucking dude, Super Rave 64. Oh, look at this. Cool. This is literally just like a this is you can put this music in Sonic Mania on any stage and you'll be like, "You know what? It fits." Throw this in here. Oh. Listen to that soft part of the music. Oh, I love that. Oh, I really like that. <laughs> Makes me feel all tingly. All right. Sorry. While I was reading that, I, I was kind of, I was kind of ignoring the chat while I was reading that because I didn't want to get too distracted. So, oh damn, this is a good ass song. All right. Uh, I know this game is still relevant in 2020. I'm lost that shit in the guide. He said, oh no, I'm lost in the guide. What happened? Reminds me of the original Yu-Gi-Oh music? Oh shit, yeah. You know what else it reminds me of? Mega Man. You can put this in like the Mega Man and base game. That'd be great. That's a dead body. I'm not gonna look at it. 
Hey, it's really worth going down this hall. Uh, all I see is the incinerator. Oh shit, my bad. Definitely something or someone here. Be very careful. Hold up. I almost forgot. I have to. Go put that statue in. I feel like I should go do that first. That seems like the most important thing to do right now. And the music just restarts. <laughs> I love it. Oh, shit. <gasps> no! God damn it. No! What the hell? Countless shining black bugs, anthropods, and worms are all covered, are all converged together into a skittering, shifting mass so big it's like a slimy lake. Oh god, no! Stop, get off of me! Damn it, Naomi, why are you so useless? Naomi! Naomi, I'm over here, can you make it? What? No! Oh, oh, it's a maze! You bitch! I can feel every slight movement. What? Uh, get me out of here. Come on. What? I can't. It won't. It won't let me. What? <gasps> Naomi? Naomi? Did it just drag me all the way back? Oh. Oh. Let me out. Let me out. No more. Well, stop. If you stop your- if you quit your bitching about it, maybe we can get out. Let me out of here. You made it, Naomi. Just keep yourself aloft. Aloft? That's it. Good. Now think about what you're doing. Just push. Try to hoist yourself up. That is- that can- mm, that can all just be taken out of context. There, you got it. You're almost out. You're doing good. Ew, get them off me. Don't worry, hold still. I'll make sure to get every last one of them. There we go. You should be good now. You'll be fine. Quit your bitching. Can you walk? Here, use my shoulder. Huh. Well, that happened. And then back to the rave. What the fuck is this game? <laughs> so this was a passageway. I looked at it earlier and I said, I thought this was a passageway. It looked really suspicious to me. Dun, 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 dun. That leads back to the second. All right. <laughs> I need to find like a pentagram. Never, never thought I would say that in my life and actually mean it. Mean it. I need to find a pentagram. It makes me feel safe. The only reason I'm doing this is because I want to head back to that save point. I don't want to have to do that shit over again. Alright. We're using the bottom one, right? There we go. Alright. Uh, doorway's here. Baby statue? There you go. There was a save point right there, and I didn't even notice it. I feel stupid now. Naomi? It's here, the black mass that attacked me earlier. The sign says infirmary, but whatever's at the end of the hallway, it's nothing like anything we've seen before. My head. Big bro, it hurts. Mine, too. What the hell is wrong with you both? Oh, shit, they got nosebleeds. Never mind. Oh, the hell was that noise? What the hell? Is that a child's face and hands? There's a posting attached to the door. Sachiko, cleaning up in the reference room. Please wait here for me until I'm done. Sachiko? The door's open. Come on in. I'm, I'm sorry? Blood. Oh my god, it's mine. Why did my nose start bleeding? I think I'll be in danger if I stay here too long, but I get the feeling there's something here I need to see. 
What the hell? What did you say? Shall we go to the field trip together over summer vacation? This looks important. No mercy. I'm gonna kill you. Cotton swab bandages rub my alcohol. How dare you harm Sachiko? How dare you harm me? Wash with soap. Clean. It shimmers. Can I not check the drawer? Nothing on the bed. Alright, I'm getting the hell out of here. Really? What? Who the hell are you? What's going on? I can't move a muscle. Have I been paralyzed? Oh! My dear Sachi, she's my pride and joy. Get away from me! She'll do... <laughs> what? Ah! Can't move again. Oh! Out of nowhere, the book on the desk flings flipping pages and it slams shut. Diary. Whose diary is it? The spirits? The book seems quite old, with yellow pages and frayed edges. But it's carefully inked letters and it's still completely legible. What? 7-19-1953? It seems to be dead. I seem to be dead. Now that can't be right. What? I can't forgive you. I won't forgive you. I'm going to kill you. How dare you harm Sachiko. How dare you harm me. What? This is bad. What do you think? He said I'm getting the fuck out of here. I'm gone. Satoshi? Time to go, girls. Stand up. Gotta get the hell out of here. Back to the rave. <laughs> this music just ruins it. <laughs> it ruins the feeling. It's like, man, well, that was spooky, right? Now back to the party. Are you two all right? I'm fine. I'm okay, too. The headache subsided. Must have been that hallway. What was that place, anyways? It was the nurse's office. There was a woman there with a, black and, with a broken neck. And just before I ran out, children started appearing all around her. Ah, oh, Satoshi. Is that... Yep, it's a diary from the desk. I tried going through it earlier, but it was totally frozen in place. I couldn't even turn the pages. Is it that woman's? Without a doubt, I saw her writing in it. What? There's a name on the back. Yo, uh, Yo, Yo, he, I am Yoshi. Whatever. <laughs> that that's probably how you even pronounce it. Yoshi Shinozaki. I'm not I'm not sure what we'll learn from it, but I'm willing to bet that something important. Shall we take a look? I spoke at great length with the children again today. They're going full they're so full of life and growing up so fast. The younger students are quite quiet and respectful too. It's clear their parents love and care for them very much. They taught them very well. But I won't be left behind. I intend to raise Sachiko with just as much love and devoted as any of them. Today is her seventh birthday. We're meeting after school and going out for dinner. I hope she likes the stuffed cat I brought her. I had to sort out some documents in the reference room before meeting with Sachi. While I was working, the principal dropped by. After he and I talked for a bit, he suddenly came to me from behind. He grabbed me and forced me down. They began unbuttoning my blouse. Oh, shit. He'd always been so kind, lending a sympathetic ear to my problems, but today he didn't even seem like the same man. His eyes were cold and empty. I was in such shock, not even sure exactly what happened to me after that. I slipped away somehow, but he was right behind me. I only made it as far as the landing on the stairs, just as I turned the corner, I felt him push me. The floor came at my feet, and suddenly I found myself unable to move. I was slumped across the ground, unceremoniously, and I was dead. Buckets of blood spilled out from my head. I'm sure it was hell to clean up later. I also lost control of my bowels, embarrassing to say at least. I was slipping away, but I was pulling back by the but I was pulled back by the sound of a very dear voice. Sachiko saw everything. I guess she should come to find me. The principal closed in on her. What he was planning to do? I yelled with every ounce of my strength for him to stop. But I was dead. I had no strength. 
Sachiko tried to run, but she had the stride of a seven-year-old. He caught her easily, and then before my very eyes, he strangled the life out of her. What a cruel man. He unbuttoned my shirt, then took Sachiko to the basement and buried her. He'll probably, he'll probably say my death was an accident and reported her as missing. I'm not a bad person. I don't deserve this. There's no redemption for what he's done. It's just as I suspected. According to the official report, I slipped and fell, and nothing been said to anyone about Sachiko yet. The other teachers and students are all mourning me. They're so kind. I'm in mourning too. There's a stranger sitting in my chair. The new nurse, no doubt. But no one comes to see her. She mustn't be very popular. I hate her. Little by little, I'm losing my mind. Bit by bit, I'm fading away. I will... I, a dark will, not my own, has begun infiltrating my being. Make it stop. So she was Sachiko's mom? So awful. Yeah, it is. I really feel for her. Wait. Though, isn't everyone else bothered by the date that these diary... Uh, that this di... Uh, <clears throat> Dates on these diary entries? Sachiko shouldn't be, even be here. The kidnapping and murders didn't take place until 1973, remember? Oh, you're right. They're all dead. They're all dated a full 20 years earlier. But what does that mean? We kept reading. The postmortem diary continues to chronicle school nurse Yoshi Shinozaki's uh, lament and regrets and detailed her agony. Bound to the site of her demise, Though she eventually ex exhausted all possible topics, filling the remaining pages with short passages like, I'm so alone, so very alone. I want to see Sachiko again. I want to see the children again. I will never forgive him for what he did. I'll kill them all. Among other sim similarly mournful or angry sentiments. Really? What the? I can't open the last page. After a certain point, the diary page becomes so blood-soaked that they're all sticking together in a coagulated mess of gloppy paper. Skipping past the bloodied section yield the very last few entries in the book, all of which were dated around 20 years later. Sachi is my pride and joy. She'd do anything for me. She even killed lots of people to keep me company. She spin she sends oh, she sends me so many children. I love them all. I have to make her stop. This won't make me happy. Sachiko, please stop. His family is just as guilty as he is. I'm going to curse the entire line forever. I'll burn some sense right into their brains. How did this happen? Sachiko, who died along me 20 years ago, has a fl flesh and body bloody... Wow. Has a flesh and blood body once more. She kills children and sends their souls to me. But I don't want that. That won't make me happy. Sachiko, please come see me. Talk with me. Sachiko killed six more, and when they died, it's like every trace of their existence is removed from history, is spiriting away, in the true sense of the term. But she's not capable of abducting and killing children on her own. She makes that man do the kidnapping for her. Sachiko, please stop. Sachiko, please stop. Now she's just killing because she likes it. I don't know when, it cha when this change happened, but it did. Living beings are such fickle, easily angered creatures. They live... They killed us, after all. I can't forgive anyone who kills another human being. I'll kill them all. I'll kill them for what they've done. I'll show them no mercy. Kill more. Kill more. Bring me more. Thanks to Sachi, I'm no longer alone. She sent me three more adorable little children today. Sachi is my pride and joy. I don't think she even recognizes me anymore. But I still love her with all my heart. The school's been closed down, and the principal jumped off the roof, serves him right. I think I'll sing with the children something fun and happy. What a pitiful way to die, serves him right. Sachi's been wandering the halls, these empty halls. She killed anyone who enters, people who've heard rumors, or just curious. She and I are both so desperately thirsty, but there's nothing we can do about it. After this, the writing becomes too jumbled to read. God! So Sachiko's been killing children and sending their souls to, to her mother she, so she won't get lonely? And I guess eventually it just drove her mad. It seems like deep down even her mom wants her to stop. Yeah. I'm not sure exactly what we should do next, but if we were going to get through Sachiko, 
Then it looks like the school's principal is the key, if I recall. The principal's office is the other is in the other building. Oh, that was a lot to read. My mouth is dry. <laughs> hey, at least I can say that I didn't really flub that much during that reading. See, I'm good at reading. I can read. <laughs> Haven't studied this much. I mean, I'm doing more work than this than I did in school. Wow. Well, thank you. Thanks for the help. Oh, what's this? There's a stuffed doll in the shape of black and a black cat lying in the middle of the floor. Pick it up. Eh, why not? Acquire black cat plushie. Cool. So we need to head to... We need to head to, um, whatchamacallit? <laughs> Excuse me, I did not mean to burp into the mic. I'm so sorry. Um, we need to head, oh god, when will Yuki show up? I, oh, why did the game, fr oh my god, the game froze like three times in a row and then a dude jumped out the building, was that the principal? What the hell did we just see? He leapt from the roof of the building, so I'm guessing that was the principal of Heavenly Host. Huh? Oh, oh god. Yuka, don't look. Is it just... Yeah, I doubt he can ever find... He can ever find rest after what he did, so he just reads living his death over and over again. That's horrible. Wait, what's that? Looks like a key. Yeah, a key to what? I'm gonna go get it. Don't, it's too dangerous! I'll be right. I'll be all right. I'll wait for my chance, then rush it and take it. The got it. What the man's a lot smarter than they look from back here. Principal's key. Okay, you got it. Now get back here, Satoshi. Well, that happened. <laughs> huh. I love how this stream is going longer than the fucking last one. <laughs> I was like, uh, we finished. It took us all stream last time to finish chapter four. Maybe we can finish chapter five. It's taking longer than that. Mostly because I'm stupid. I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but it's fine. Actually, I know I just saved, but this is closer. I don't know when Yuki will show up though. She showed like she showed up when we came back to the school, and then she disappeared after that, so. Alright, Mr. Principal, what we got? Oh. What's going on in this room? I didn't mean for this to happen. It was just a temporary lapse in judgment. She's the one at fault. She clearly overreacted to the situation. I'm cold. Look at all the papers on the wall in here. Definitely something off about this place. Well, they did say the principal suffered from some sort of mental uh, collapse before he died. She's the one at fault. Pick up the fucking thing. Pick it. Damn it. Pick it up. Hmm. This drawer is locked. We didn't find the key, though. There we go. It's open. Wait, what is this? There's a small hemp bag in the desk drawer absolutely slathered with blood. Oh, God. I have a bad feeling about this. Yuga, don't look. The mentong sits at the bottom of the bag. Everyone just imagine what would happen if you, <laughs> Yuki made you go through their pain. Fucking, that's what, a <laughs> that's what a Ayumi had to do. And then right after, she's like, man, we got to go back in that school. I would have been hell no. I would have said, you know what? Forget it. I'm moving. I'm going far away. I made it out. I'm alive. What the hell? 
goes from me. <laughs> it would sting? What do you mean it would sting? It will do more than sting getting stabbed in the eye repeatedly. Every night, every single night, the same dream. I deeply regret what I did. I can't even truly express how ashamed I am. But how much are you going to make me suffer for it? Oh, I understand. I get it. You're not really dead. You're just pretending. You think it's... You think... What do you think of the position you're putting me in? I can't allow you to tell another living soul about what I did to you. And that's why he cuts her tongue out. So I'm afraid I'm going to have to fix that so you can never say another word again. Oh, I don't like the sound effect. Oh. You like that? Huh? You like? Okay, well. Hmm. He, he went a little bit crazy. If I ever see you in my dreams again, I'll be back. I'll kill you as many times as it takes. Okay. Ah. <laughs> uh, Satoshi. Big bro, you alright? You okay? You suddenly stopped talking and neither one of us could get any response out of you. Yeah, I'm okay. I was just watching some unpleasant memories unfold. Huh? Inside this bag is Sachiko's tongue. What? After the principal lost his mind, he decided he couldn't have uh, he could have Sachiko squealing on him to anyone. So he dug up her body and cut off her tongue. That's barbaric. When we find her, we need to ask her about something she does. Oh really? I think we should give this I think we should give this back to her. I'm sure she must be looking for it. Give it to Sachiko. Is no one gonna question what the hell happened between Yuka and Sachiko? Because she just sh- What the hell is this? Is this like a dead cat or something? Cold, 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 cold. Alright, cool. What the hell is this? I can't walk past it. Is that a rock? What is that? Okay. So we got that. And apparently we have to return to Sachiko. I don't... Oh! The, uh... Candle's gone. Unless it's down here. Alright, cool. Candle's down here. Never mind. We're safe. We did it. We're safe. Alright. I'm gonna assume Sachiko's in the other... Building? This guy's just... Not having a good day. I'm gonna assume she's like behind the uh, the bathroom or whatever, right? Back to the rave. Uh, let's see. I think absolutely no reason to return through there. Yeah, of course. Because there's yeah, there's no there's not even a way back up through there, is there? It's just a dead end filled with death. Death and despair. Alright. Now there's that was the infirmary. So I guess Oh. How did I Where the hell do I gotta go? <laughs> I'm trying to head back to the um the bathroom. I, I probably just took a wrong turn without realizing it. Isn't it? Is it not up here? Am I crazy? Oh, yeah, because this is busted. Alright, that's what happened. That's busted. Okay. So I think. I think I'm going to switch to the other team right now, see what they're going through. Maybe they can help us out. Where the hell? There's no... Why did I run back over here? I don't think there's any, um... What's the word I'm looking for? I don't think there's any pentagrams on the floor for that. Back to the raids.
Okay. Actually, you know what? Maybe... First of all. Because this is closer. Maybe... I don't think we should go back there. Okay. Did you look around the principal's office fully? No. <laughs> I picked up, uh, I picked up Sachiko's tongue. I picked up Sachiko's tongue and he's like... He's like, we should return this to Sachiko. Is there something in there I need to go back for? Like, oh, I'll check it out, right? But I kind of thought the moment I kind of thought the moment he went like, "All right, we we came and did the story thing. Time to peace out." Let's see. Let's see. Oh. She's the one at fault. Does this lead anywhere? Maybe for tomorrow I pray. I pray for a bright future. Completely empty inside. I can't. I can't go around. Okay, cool. Nope. Nothing in there. Old-fashioned space heater. Try flipping it. This is gonna kill me. This is gonna kill me. Oh, secret passageway. Nice. Oh, it's a secret passage. And a ladder. Sure, why not? Big brother, I don't like it. I think those charms of protection are, what are all... I don't like it. It's got these charms of protection all over it. Yeah, but it means Principal was definitely afraid of whatever's down here. We should check it out. What? <laughs> He's like, yeah, we should definitely check it out. What? <laughs> You'll go first. You know me, you could you come down afterwards. Be careful, Satoshi. I will. Back to the rave. Oh. Huh. Huh. Well that means they're done with their little escapades. Time for us to move on with ours. Maybe we'll find the teacher. So down here they said they heard like an incinerator or something. Oh, this is the this is the room with the with the with the fucking death sigil. Let me check this. Oh, I can't check that. Okay, what about the paper up there? Can't check that either. Okay. Nothing on the desk. All right. Look at this obvious trap room. Something wrong? This room seems a bit set up for black magic or witchcraft or something. How do you figure? You don't see anything uh I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Come on, we should keep moving. You said there's a presence uh what? You said there's a presence out by the incinerator, right? Presence. Alright, let's go. You go on ahead. Son of a bitch. Now what's interesting here is that hmm, is that apparently when we did this earlier and we super failed, she ran into the teacher here. So I'm kind of reluctant to leave. You go on ahead. All right, let's go. Mm. I'm gonna regret it. Actually, how about you go ahead? I'll catch up with you. Okay, but don't take too long. Hmm. What's with the voice just now? That wasn't me. Shinozaki. Hey, Shinozaki. What just happened? No, God, no. Am I trapped in here? Hey, open up. Come on. Kishinuma. Somebody open the damn door. Come on, please. Shinozaki. Am I ever glad to see you? And alive no less. Are you alright? Now I'm hearing now I'm hearing Miss Shishido's voice. If this turns out to be a fake too, I'm really gonna lose it. What are you talking about? Come on, over here. It's nothing to be afraid of anymore. It's really you? Where have you been all this time? We've been worried sick. I'm sorry. 
Must have been terrifying in here all by yourself. Oh god, Miss Shishido, you're injured. Pretty severely too, from the looks of it. Shinozaki. Oh, my arm. It's badly in shape. Shinozaki, come on, stand up. We gotta get out of here. Oh! Hang on. Don't let go of my leg. You can climb up my body. Miss Shishido, no. Quickly. I can't, I can't support both our weights with one arm for much longer. My fingers are. All right, Shinozaki, you'll fall in too. I know. My fingers can't hold on. Miss Shishido. Come on, you're almost there. Now lift her up. Shinozaki, Miss Yui, grab my hand. No, don't. I'll climb up on my own. This floor could collapse any moment. Let's get out of here. But do it. In case you need to take care of Shinozaki. Miss Yui, Shinozaki, come on. Shinozaki, be strong. No matter what happens, be strong. You have the ability that can outmatch anyone else. And once you get out of here, I know everything's gonna work out just fine. You know, with that dream of yours we were talking about. Now get the hell out of here. You don't understand that gravity is situation. Go now. Shinozaki! You gotta peace out. Miss Shishido, Miss Yui. Shinozaki, come on, we gotta move. Let go of me. I don't care anymore. The fuck do you mean you don't care no more? Listen, you may be willing to let Mr. Yui sacrifice go to waste, but I'm not. Kishinuma? This is what she meant when she said to be strong. Huh? Who? Is the principal? Looks like somebody threw Sachiko's yellow ribbon in there. But it's just out of reach. Huh? From the darkness within the incinerator, the figure of a girl can faintly be seen. She's squatting with hands around her knees. Whoa! The hell? It's Sachiko. Upon meeting your gaze, she spins in place and begins crawling deeper into the machine until she vanishes from inside. What the hell? It's pretty cramped in there, but it looks like maybe, with a little effort, you can crawl down pretty far through this thing. Actually, look over there. There's a tiny pinprick? What the hell is that? Pinprick of a light? It might be a room or something. Good, good as... Good as... Uh, good elite as any. Wait, are you nuts? This is an incinerator. What if somebody lights it up while you're inside? Good point. Okay, you wait out here. I'll go in by myself. Okay, fine, I'll go too. That is not a that is not a smart idea. I told you to wait at the top. Not a chance, I'm coming with. Damn it, we'll be careful in here, okay? Some pretty thick clumps of dust and ash. You'll get yourself caught on if you don't watch out. Thanks. Damn, it's tight squeezing here. We've come pretty far, but it seems like we're still only about halfway. Maybe it's because the ceiling's so low that I can't even come close to standing up. But I've honestly never felt the uneasy, uh, this uneasy before in my life. If that, if the exits all get blocked, I could wind up stuck in this position forever. What the hell is wrong with me? I shouldn't think about things like that. Ow! Hey, you alright? Just pricked my hand a little. Some kind of metal wire in here. Good to know. Turn back. Huh? Please turn back. Uh. Shit. Hey, can we just go back? Really bad feeling about this. Yeah, okay. You'll be able to turn around. Just take your time. I don't know. I don't feel like there's something fishy going on down there. I don't think there's anywhere else we can go. I don't like it, but if you're that set on going through, I'll go too. Ah, uh, damn it. Yeah, there's something in here for sure. Come on. Okay. Turn back. Stay away. Oh! 
Did I tell you to turn back? Bad end? Bad end. I think that's a bad end. What the hell? Uh, underground tunnel system. Would have thought it'd be something like this beneath the school. Big brother, I have to pee again. You could, can you hold it? What is good with this girl? <laughs> what the hell? Where am I? I think I recognize the door. Remember this one with all the protective charms on it? Hmm. Yeah, door we can never open. Guess we finally get to see what's on the other side of it. But wait, that means if we keep going this way, won't we end up in the place where Sachigo killed those three children? Yeah, where Sachigo's body is buried too. How will we figure out which room it is? The murderer, the murder, or rather the man who kidnapped kidn three children supposedly hanged himself in the same room. So we can find any evidence of his death, we all know we'll know we're in the right place. What an awful place it is. What the hell? Huh. What the hell is this? Oh! <laughs> God! These don't look peculiar or, uh, particularly... These don't look particularly old, either. I think they're victims of the curse who got trapped in here. What kind of sick person would take the time to line them up so neatly? Maybe someone obsessive... Maybe someone obsessive, compulsive? Someone who takes pride in his collections? Not someone I want to meet. What the hell? Ah! Oh, it's a good spirit! Oh my god, that is a lot of people. What? You know what's really bad about this? I should have paid attention. I didn't, so obviously it showed me the way to go. Yep. <laughs> it showed me the way to go, and I wasn't paying attention. Oh, okay, so it doesn't kill me. It just sends me back down here. Whew. Well, isn't that a good thing? All right. Sorry, show me again, spirit. To the right. Two times to the right. To the left. Back to the right. And to the right again. <laughs> yeah. I didn't realize it until, like, after he did it. And I was like, what? <laughs> Thanks a lot, spirit. The hell is this? Dear Shiho, stay strong no matter what happens, no matter what you see. Never, never lose that immovable will of yours. Fight the darkening. Don't let it take over. If you can beat it, then you can beat fate itself. Pretty ominous message. Doesn't bolt well for us. Oh my god, you're alive! <laughs> Wait, people? Come again? You. Hey, you dropped this. Huh? Uh. See, now that's a Chad. Wait, what just happened? I have no idea. He just looked at my face and then he... Come on, we should make our way through as quickly as we can. Everything seems to be normed down, down these tunnels. Jesus. Oh god, what's this? Okay. That's nice. And Chad. <laughs> He's a Chad ass motherfucker, that's what he is. Alright, well there's nothing down there. Follow down the path that was made for me. Okay. Let's see. I'm just listening. <laughs> I'm just listening to the music. I actually like it. It's pretty good. This is this is the music I expected, not the rave party that we had all the way. All 
I really hope I didn't. I really hope I didn't really... I hope I didn't fuck it up for the other guys. She said turn back, I turned back. And then I went back in. Had no choice, really. I knew there was no other way back, but... You know. And I guess Morishigi's just a lost cause then, like, for real. I thought maybe it's like we had to see them die in order for them to count. I'm not gonna save over that one, because... Just in case I somehow fucked up that choice. Chapter 5's music's been great. It's been so great. Chapter 5's been going so long. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I gotta use the bathroom again. It's probably the way I sit, to be honest. Especially in this chair. Because it's not in the, uh... It's not the gamer chair that I have. It's my recliner. <laughs> and that's because I have to put the... Put the keyboard on my lap. Alright, so... All the way to the right, middle, all the way to the right, and down to the, what the fuck? See, I w it was fine until he did that goofy shit. Then all the way to the right. And then... Fuck! <laughs> then down. Yep. <laughs> this time it kills me, I assume? Nope. Alright. See, I was like, hey, this looks normal, and then he started walking back, and I said, what? <laughs> Come on, man. Alright. Now that I'm expecting it, so to the right, up the middle, to the right, and then... Uh, down, left, instant left, down, all the way down, left, and then all the way up. Alright. So just doop, 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 doop. <laughs> gotcha. 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 Alright. All the way to the right, up. To the right. Dupe. Dupe. And then dupe. Alright. Okay, so once more, I'll be back because I've really got to use the bathroom. God damn it. So give me, give me like two, three minutes. I'll be right back.
All right. <clears throat> I have returned. Now, to answer said question, yes, I do have a reclining seat. But that's mainly because I have, like, I have my computer monitor and then I have my TV on the wall above it. So, that's pretty much why I have the recliner. And my room is kind of small, so I just kind of sit in this. Now, the gaming chair, I didn't buy that. That was gifted to me. But, you know, sometimes I do sit in it while I stream. But for something where I need to have a mouse and keyboard, I gotta sit in my recliner because I gotta put the keyboard over my lap. Because I don't want to fucking sit it on the same desk as my microphones as my microphone and, you know, hear the clickies and stuff. Oh, what the hell is this place? It smells absolutely overpowering. Are you okay, Yuka? This is, uh... Just buckets of blood? What the hell is this room? What is it used for? The tables sure do have a lot of blood stains on them. Right. How you doing, Yuka? Maybe you shouldn't stare at that. Alright. What about you? What about... What's in here? There's a large wardrobe here, big enough to fit a human being, and it's currently empty. Okay. Whatever's in this sink, it smells rancid and looks like both juicy and chunky in equal measures. Ooh. That's bad. The table is covered in basic... <clears throat> basic metal tools that seem to have been used on human remains. There's a rusty saw, a hammer, and several more custom items. My question is, how the hell did Yuka get away from Sachiko, and how the hell did, um, <clears throat> did Blonde Boy get away from the hammer dude? Grotesque hunks of red and yellow meat have been crammed into the bucket, and it's filled. Meat juice are dripping all over the sides. Ooh, that was the remains. Okay. And that's where that rave music- oh, what's going on? Oh shit! Someone's coming! What do we do? The footsteps are getting closer. Under the table, quickly! We won't f uh, we won't be found right away. There's no place else we can hide, come on! Go! I thought I was going to hide under the closet. Oh no, he found the Chad? Oh no, Chad's hiding in the closet. Don't whimper. Shut up, Naomi. Why are you being so useless? Making noises. See Yuka making noises? Naomi, shut up! Naomi! What? Oh my god. Blood steadily leak out from Seiko's cold, unmoved limbs, shaking along on the floor. Oh my god. Oh, no. Yeah, Seko's dead body. Oh no. Now he has the Chad too. Naomi, can you shut up? I get it. See Yuka crying? Man, Yuka's just Yuka's just a brave one. Where the hell's that bastard taking Seiko? Wait, Naomi, are you really gonna chase him over a dead body? She's been through enough as it is, I can't just let this go on. She's dead already, you son of a bitch! Oh my god. Yuka, come on. Stay right by my side. Okay. It's safe, but she's following the trail of blood. Let's just try and catch up with her. Alright. 
Fucking, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I stopped here. The trail of blood from, Shino, from Shinohara's body, it stopped. But why? I don't know. He asked me the questions. His head left. What the? Where? Oh! Why are there so many bodies? Wait, Kishinuma? Where are you? No, please, Kishinuma. Wait, is that... That's not his body right there, is it? The one sitting up? <laughs> I really hope it's not. No, no, he couldn't be. He's here with me after all. Don't even think about it. Killing me off just yet. Before I realized it, I got sucked. I got sucked. Wow. I got stuck going a different chute. Almost wound up in the pool. That won't be a real. Uh, that would have been a real pain in the ass to. Wow. That would have been a real pain in the ass. You okay, Shinozaki? Uh huh. She just like start starts talking like Banjo Kazooie, fucking ugh. -huh. Hey, I would say the gang's all here, but where's Naomi, Mashita, and Yuka too? Good to see you guys. Uh huh. You two okay? You're out of breath. Naomi went after the monster that took Shinohara's body, and she got separated from us. Naomi's missing. Miss Yui, too. God. What? I still don't understand the teacher, you know? Because it's like, she's like, my, my students, I love them so much. Everyone here is like 16, 17, she's 23. She's probably only been a teacher for like two, three years, maybe. And she's all like, my bond with my students. It's like, really? Kind of a stretch, Teach. You're 23. You're not that. You're not that far ahead of us. Seiko, where are you? Are you really calling out for her? Are you? Are you okay? She's dead. I won't let them hurt you anymore. I'll protect you. You are just. Oh. Oh. Oh, don't do that, game. I like to... This is the moment where I like to say there is a uh, seizure warning, probably, maybe, if the game's gonna keep doing that shit. I'd rather not have it do that. Oh, hey, it's Yuki. Yuki, you're here. Does this mean you still have control over your will? Don't give in. Huh? You've been struck in with the darkening. Its effects are beginning to take hold of you. There's still time to stop it. But you must hurry. She's here, just beyond the next room. Whether or not you'll be able to return to your own world depends entirely on her. Go quickly. What about Naomi? We can't leave without her. She's fighting her own demons right now. If she can overcome them, she'll be able to resist her own darkening. She'll be, she'll be along. Wait, what? <laughs> it should be possible to appease even Sachiko. Wait, what? It should be possible to appease even Sachiko. Make certain you're ready. Ready to fight. I still don't know what the hell's going on in this godforsaken place. But I've come way too far to go back now. And god damn it, I better get me some sweet loving after this. We understand. Come on, everyone. Let's do this. Just remember, the way out lies with Sachiko. You must find a way to get through to her, to touch her heart. Push me, and then just touch me, till I can get my satisfaction. <laughs> Alright. 
Good luck to me. Oh, I'm by myself here. She's gonna hold all my friends hostage. Moment of truth. Oh, Persona, don't fail me now. I don't know why I think Persona will help me out here, but please don't. Oh. Huh. There's a running corpse hanging from the ceiling. It's, uh, it's the teacher. Can't remember his name. Can't, well, I, it's not that I can't remember his name. I just don't want to pronounce it. Wait a minute. Maybe I should have checked it. Damn it. That was a bad idea. I should have checked the body. Big brother, my head hurts. Yuka. We still have that tape that we didn't use. What's that? Sounds like people are being strung up. Oh. Is that Sachiko? I told you to stay away. Don't come any closer. Don't look at me. Sachiko, please listen. We leave. Please believe me. We need you no harm. Leave or I'll kill you. Damn it, we're not getting through to her. Oh man. Don't don't do that game. Seizure warning, guys. My name is my name is Sogo Touch. Wait. Oh, that's the that's the chat, dude. I work as Ko's Kibiki uh, Kibiki's camera and general assistant. I don't I don't like the flashes. They're bad. I've gotten separate from the boss, but I intend to do exactly what I promised him I would. I keep filming until the bitter end. No matter what happens, I won't miss a minute. These records will serve a valid <clears throat> serve to validate my exist No, don't. Oh god no. It's coming from upstairs. This guy is such a chad. Look at him. It's a little girl's room. Who's in there? We need to stay out of sight. I'll be able to get this, whatever it is. Please don't do this. What? Naomi! My body. We've been paralyzed. I can't move. Oh god, is everybody alright? My ears, my ears. Big brother, save me. Ah! Oh, no! <laughs> what are you doing? Yuka. God, I can't even turn my body to look at her. All frozen like this. What are you doing to me? Ow, stop it, please! Yuka, what's happening? Oh! Sachiko, you bitch, leave her alone. Ochita, get on with it quickly. Get on with. Are you her mom? Okay. Who the hell is that? No, me, please don't do this. Two girls. One's a bucket with her hands tied behind her back and a rope around her neck. No, please, Naomi, wake up. Naomi! Naomi. Huh. Wait, she helped kill Naomi? Is that what happened? She just kicked the bucket away. My god, is this a murder? Oh, wow, really? What the hell did I just see? She's the one who killed Naomi. Dude. What? So she was affected by the darkening way earlier. Sachiko, this is yours. It's part of your body that was taken from you. Open your eyes, please. I'm sorry. Excuse me? What happened to Yuka? She's all better now. <laughs> Offer the tongue? Yes. Offer Naho's notebook? No! <laughs> 
Uh, what? Mm. The tongue is an obvious answer, yes. The notebook... Huh. Damn it. The notebook. Ah. Fuck. No. I don't want to offer the notebook. Oh, shit. Let me think about this. The tongue is part of her body. The notebook is a way for people to escape. Right? No? Yeah, okay. Definitely not. Because I need that. Mommy, you promised. White Sachiko. Wait, so there's an evil Sachiko and a good one? Your mom's been suffering just as much as you have. The things you've been doing aren't making her happy at all. Offer the black cat plushie. Yes. Where did I get the black cat plushie from? Um. I'm trying to think. Did I. Yes? Alright. <laughs> Offer mini DVD sin tape. Yes. I think that's. I don't know what's on this tape, but I feel like I should give it. I'm gonna go with yes. Found it randomly in the hall. What happened? Did something seem off? Don't tell me we failed. Oh, we totally failed. Yep. Okay. Shinozaki's going crazy. She's gonna go kill Naomi. She has scissors, big brother, behind you. Ah, fuck. <laughs> oh, no. They're cutting, they're cutting her head off? Is that what's going on now? Wrong end. Yep. What the hell is the sin tape? Is that, is that the one that the Chad recorded? Is that what that's supposed to be? Huh. Hey. Listen, had to give it a shot, right? <laughs> had to give it a shot, but they both went insane. What is the sin tape? Like I know, I know how I got it, but I don't know what it is because we never were able to uh to look on it. Can I check this out? Make sure he doesn't have anything extra on him. All right. We can skip all this. That's fine. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> My bad. That is a that is a proper seizure warning there. <laughs> that was a lot of flashing lights. All right. Just she's just beating the shit out of Yuka. Damn. All right. Okay. So. Offer her tongue. There you go. Offer a notebook. Hell no, that's mine. Here's here's the tape. I'll keep said tape. Who? Where's my mommy? Where am I? I can move again. Does that mean it's working? Naomi! Come on, everyone. Take out your paper dolls. We're getting the hell out of here. Okay. Got it. Alright. Okay. Sashiko, here are please. We want to go home. 
That's what charms really are. They represent, uh, they represent, well, they represent our regards to other people. They're like mi microcosms of the soul, right? You and your mom both suffer such horrible fates, but all we want to do is is free you from the suffering. Chant, Sachiko, we beg of you. 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 Did I do it? Are we alive? <laughs> you guys? Yuka? Naomi? Everybody alright? It's okay, it's nothing serious. I use my ribbon to help stop the bleeding. Hopefully that should be enough. Ayumi? Thanks. Yuka. We did it! Satoshi. Naomi, I'm so glad you're okay. What happened with Shinohara? I'll tell you later. Oh. Okay. Look how unimpressed he is. He's like, oh. Alright, bitch. <laughs> Wait, what the hell? Yuki! Now is your only chance to escape. The veil between your world and this school is at its thinnest. The gate is open. You need to hurry to get to the outside building before it closes. Complete the ritual. Once it closes, the Nexus will return to the way it was, and you'll have lost your chance to get out. Wait, so what's going on? Wait, what's going to happen to all of you then? It appears we become part of these spaces. Sachiko was the only one among us who can be saved. Right now, I'm free, but it's not going to be. It's not going to last soon. I'll continue uh, shaping this place, just as I always have. No. This school has already been creating a new Sachiko. Please go. Get out of the building while you still can. I'm getting the fuck out of here! <laughs> Come on, let's go. We're gone! Oh no, the candles are out! Oh shit. I'm out of here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, no, 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 not that way. Somewhere in the distance, Bell's Toll. Fuck you. Alright, shit. Oh. Uh... Nope. Oh, damn it. Run to the walkway. Walkway. Bell's toll again. Shut up! What do you mean, walkway? Is this the deaf room? Oh, here we go. With this shit. Certain amount of bells to ring. Oh, shit! Oh, we're totally not making it. The third bell tolls. What the hell is this? Why the hell would I want that? Oh, that's not that way. Damn it. I'm guessing we have till six bells. That's the fourth one. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, fucking damn it. <laughs> this is why I don't commit this shit to memory. I'm totally not making it out. I spent too much time. Fifth bell. Nope, other way, come on. Come on, keyboard, don't fuck with me here. I'm not making it out. There's no way I'm making it out. There's no way I'm making it out. There's no way I'm making it out. I'm not making it out. I'm not gonna make it out of here. We're dead. We're dead. It's over. Number six. People are getting thinner now. Come on, damn it. I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember the way out. That way. Can't go this way, I think. Ah, oh, shit. We made it. All I have to do is climb over the fence and we get home free. Let's go. I don't think this is the right way. Please work, please work. Hold tightly to your Shashiko straps.
Were we supposed to go to the entrance? I thought we were supposed to go to the entrance. I'm not going to lie. Or do we just have to be outside? Oh, shit. We did it. Look how unamused he is. He's like, man, fuck this. <laughs> Whoa. Are we? We're home. Big brother. Yuka. Really made it. Yuka, Yuki, thank you so much. And so, the five of us who survived the ordeal were able to return to Kisaraki Academy to the real world in our own time. For a while, we were all just happy to be home and to be alive. We were overjoyed. But it didn't take long before the grim reality of what happened wiped the smiles off our face. Mishu, Shinohara, uh, Morishigi, and Suzumoto. They weren't with us anymore. Who gives a fuck about Morishigi? How long were they in the Shadow Dimension? I think, like... I believe the game starts around 6 o'clock, and then somewhere in Chapter 3 it becomes midnight in the real world, so they're probably, like, one night. It's probably, like, it's probably like 5 in the morning for them or something. Goodbye. Later. Wait, before you all go... Burn these fucking papers! Don't stay home tomorrow. Please come to school. Okay. Do we have to keep these papers safe with us forever now? I didn't think I'd be able to sleep that night after all the things I've seen. But I wound up sleeping like a rock. Isn't anyone going to question them and be like, So what happened to, like, these four missing people? Next morning, it was with heavy hearts. That we all trudged towards the school, devoid of Miss Yui and the others. Yet fate still had one more sick twist in store for us. This is going on YouTube? Oh yeah, definitely. All that's going on YouTube. The only thing that's like cut off of, from the streams to YouTube is depending on how long my like breaks are, I might um We're in the dimension for six bells. Okay, cool. Wait, what? For six bells. It was like the four people who died in that school had never existed to begin with. I'm sorry? Huh? For six bells, what do you mean? Like, did... What, what are you on about? No, this isn't right. I can no one else remember any of them. All those times we spent with Senko and the others, am I just supposed to accept that none of them are... None of them really happened? Mishu, Suzumoto, Morishigi, and Shinohara. Are you telling me that they only exist in our memories now? That's just beyond cruel. Still absorbing innumerable souls and in ingesting the thoughts of innocent... Oh, well, okay. Well, let, not gonna let me read it. Emily Hose Elementary stands firm with the new appointed Sachiko at its core. There are those precious few who survive, those who lost their lives, and those who were overcome by the dark curses within. And among them all are the spirits of those who were who were wronged, bearing an unimaginable pain and endless searching for respite, respite, whatever, <laughs> for a place to call home. Chapter 5 N. Huh? Sorry to call you in here like this, Satoshi. No, it's not a problem at all. What's up? There's something I want you to see. Here. Huh? Isn't that... Isn't that the unsent text message from Shinohara I showed you? <laughs> Look at him. He's just like... He's just like, man... I thought I was gonna get some. <laughs> he's like, I didn't want none of this bullshit. I need to tell you something. Yeah? What is it? Now the credits. So it was you. Seiko couldn't move, but instead of saving her, I put a noose around her neck. You don't remember any of it? When I saw the scene play out, my mind just shut down. I couldn't think at all. 
and a black mist began forming around me. I was slipping away. I didn't care either. Nothing mattered to me anymore. What a welcome death. Seiko. Oh god, no. Seiko, I wish I could take it back. The darkness had begun seeping into every pore. My body was pitch black. I was right on the verge of losing consciousness, and then... Huh? No hard feelings. What the hell?! <laughs> this is the text message. Why am I receiving it now? She's like, ah, no biggie, you killed me. Ah, good laughs. Ha <laughs> ha, good job. JK. I'm dead now. <laughs> Became a fucking Jedi ghost. She said, even if you strike me down, I'll be with you always. Like, come on. Doesn't matter. I don't even want to live anymore. Living is too painful. I'm sure Seiko must have died hating me. There's just nothing left to live for. Huh? It's the same text message. Seiko, are you trying to tell me something? She must be spamming me. She's probably furious. No, there's no way she's not mad at me. We had such a huge fight. She can't possibly forgive me. Especially not after what I did to her. Seiko, there's no excuse for my actions. You... You must hate me, right? You have to hold some kind of grudge against me. Seiko. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I love you, Seiko. I love you. Hey, Seiko, she... She really existed, didn't she? She really did spend, spend all that time with us, right? She did. She was real, Naomi. Miss you and the others, too. I can't stand the thought of that I'll never be able to see them again. Just one last time. I just want to talk to Seiko one last time. I know you do. Corpse party. True end. God damn it. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, what's going on here? No, something spooky's happening. The fear continues in Corpse Party, Book of Shadows. Oh. Okay, damn. Got the music playing and everything. God damn, this stream went longer than I thought it would. <laughs> but we did it. Hey, that's great. We finished Corpse Party. Damn. Okay, but like I was saying earlier, um, when it comes to the stuff getting uploaded on YouTube, they may not come out right away, so if you want to watch it readily, you should check out the VODs on Twitch. Um, because I have to, you know, edit and render them out and stuff like that. Uh... The only things that really get cut out from the VODs when they go on YouTube is 
if if I have like a break in there that's too long, I'll cut that up. Um, and maybe if nothing just happens. Other than that, uh, pretty much everything you see here besides like the, uh, you know, before, besides like starting the um, stream and, you know, go, you know, doing all that shit. And I don't, I don't put any of the, like, who knows, maybe I'll do it in the future, but as of right now, I don't put any of the chat in my videos and stuff. So, <laughs> so that's the other thing you'll miss, so if you want to, if you want to see the chat out, I guess, I guess you have to watch the VOD or watch it live or something, I don't know. But, damn it. This was, this was localized by Xe, really? And Marvelous? And then Marvelous would go on to ignore Ruin Factory for seven years and make Titty Ninja the game. God. <laughs> God, Room Factory Five is coming. Makes me so happy. Anyways, um, damn, course party. That is uh, that is that is a that is a story. <laughs> that is a story. I'm still kind of confused, right? No hard feelings. Oh shit! Look at that. I'm still kind of confused a little bit, honestly. So, the area still exists. First of all, let me do something so I don't have to. Actually, you know what? I can just lower my goddamn headset. So I don't have to have the music blast in my ear the whole time. What about extras? There's still two that I haven't unlocked, but, you know. There's still some things that confuse me. One is... First of all, I just need... I just... They forget about the people who died in there? <laughs> Right? I mean, the sequel will probably enlighten me on some things. Also, it's like, okay, what... Like, I can understand why the principal went crazy, but what about the... What about the teacher? Was it like a curse they put on the bloodline? And even if it was a curse, why would the teacher help her kidnap students? Unless he's being possessed or something, I don't know. <laughs> right? Like, how did, how did Sachiko get a, another body to kill and kidnap? I don't know how that happened. Fucking... What else is there? There's some, there's some questions I have that are kind of unanswered, really. First of all, what's gonna happen to these fucking students? Probably, you'll probably see some shit happen in the sequels or something like that. More Shigi? What the hell was his deal? Like, he just- he keeps his sanity by looking at dead bodies? Like, he- he just likes looking at snuff porn or something? I don't know. The guy's weird. And then he just kinda dies off screen when they, like, played him up a little- when they played them up in the other chapters. Like, the other murderous dude, I'm guessing the teacher came and killed him, but you really don't- You really don't get to see that. How the fuck? Did Kishinuma escape from the teacher, and how did Yuka escape from the, from, uh, Sachiko? Like, they just, like, the, 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 it just ends, and I don't know what the hell is going on, they're just there now, right? But overall, yeah, it's a pretty good game, I liked it, you know? If I didn't like it, I wouldn't be playing it. Um, now, each chapter has, like, multiple endings. I am not going to be streaming that, and who knows, maybe in my own off time I'll check them out or something, but I'm not going to be streaming that. I don't know. As for Quartz Party 2 or whatever, I'm going to be honest, I don't know when I'm streaming that, and I will stream it at some point, but I don't know when that's going to happen. Not, I'm not going to say not anytime soon, but I play more horror pixel games in the future. Oh yeah, definitely. No. I love horror. Horror is one of my favorite genres. Um, but like, there's some other games that I still want to play, right? Like, we still gotta get through everything with Phoenix Wright. Uh, that one, if if I do stream tomorrow night or tonight, technically, if I do stream it, if I do stream, it's gonna be that. So next stream will be that. Um. But there's other games I kind of want to play. Like at some point, at some point, I, I really would like to play Sly 2. I really want to play Sly 2. Um, I still have yet to finish Folklore. Right. Uh, we finished Parasite Eve. That was great. I loved Parasite Eve. 
I still what, what are other things I want to continue doing Kingdom Hearts and I would like to finish Puppeteer at some point probably not that probably not not this week maybe next week but I don't know there's just a lot of things I want to look into but next stream is definitely going to be Phoenix Wright because because it's time to start our next case in that but as for Corpse Party 2 or Book of Shadows or whatever the next game is um it's it's not going to be this month I'll tell you that for sure I'll um I'll probably put like a notice on the community tab on YouTube for whenever I feel like streaming that but as of right now we also got Batman Origins that I still gotta like check out the Steam version of that game so you know there's things like that but as of right now this is where I'm going to end the stream because we did it we can close this chapter off both literally and metaphorically we can close this off, you know, archive it, throw it on the channel, you know, do do the whole song and dance. So, I would like to give thanks to everyone who came and watch, watch it on Twitch via live or are watching the VODs. And also for the people who are watching on YouTube. That helps out a lot. Thank you. Um, so like I said, next stream is going to be Phoenix Wright. After that... I don't know. I have to see. I really do. It's kind of like whatever I feel like at the moment because my scheduling is getting all fucked up with the new job coming up and everything like that. So, yeah. <laughs> it's been a good stream. Has it? Has it been a good stream? <laughs> That's questionable for me. But, um, yeah. So, as always, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care.